And welcome everybody. I'm Ryan Hunter, joined here by Klage, and we are about to start the culmination of Frosty Faustings 2020, the main event, as it always would be, as long as uh, Elvin's at the helm here. Absolutely. It's going to be uh, Exert Rev 2 Top 8. Let's take a look at the bracket. You saw it just a few minutes ago. Get to this point from Top 16. We got Lost Soul, Peppery Splash, Fu and Teresa in winner side, and then down on the loser side, GC Yoshi, Demendo, Kizzy K, and Marlin Pie. And I gotta say, this is super, super interesting bracket. Eight different characters, and these were the eight players that started top 16 in winners. Yep, absolutely. So, gotta talk about how, you know, this game's so long in its life cycle, so, so, so deep in the in the you know strategy for all these players that they, they've just become so consistent yep. that these players that were in winners able to able to close it out and, and make it into top eight after losing once. Yeah, and we're gonna go right in. Speaking of the metagame, here is a matchup that is real interesting. Of course, Heyun, usually considered slightly below average, has a lot of polarizing matchups. Well, this is one of her most polarizing. She gives Jam all sorts of problems. Jam players loathe this matchup for a couple reasons. One, Heyun does a lot of damage, that's never fun. But the big thing, Crouching Punch. Her Crouching Punch is four frames, it reaches an absurd length for the kind of normal it is, and it's rapid cancelable. So Jam players rely a lot on you, know, you not challenging the pressure, you not pressing buttons, avoiding those things like, I'm gonna slide through you, I'm gonna grab you, I'm gonna make you fear puff ball. Crouching Punch is like, nah, I'm, I'm not about that life. And even better, Heihan essentially has what is a Shoto low forward that reaches further, is cancelable, and is really good on counter hit, and it stuffs the hell out of Jam's dash. Yeah, not to mention, if Heihan wants to swing for the fences, she can swing for the fences. You got the, the you know, the Shinkens and the yeah. Hayabusas, so... Oh no, that's what we do. We Risk-reward is all, all about yeah. what Heihan players like. We will throw things out there because the reward for a counter hit is you yeah. might be J dead. Yeah, Jam's gonna need like four, five, even six, seven hits to, to close out rounds. Whereas Heyun, one good hit, you could get stunned and just die. Yeah. And of course, Teresa has been coming to Frost oh, now for three man. years. Earns a bad burst right out the gate. Yeah, that's not how Fu wanted to start this set for sure. No, definitely not. Teresa, of course, has unfinished business here. Has tried so hard to win this tournament. Here we go. There's that mix up. All right, but despite that bad burst, Fu looking pretty good right now. Has yeah. the corner positioning. Yep. Ooh, wow. Did Teresa beat the clap? He well, did not. Fu just pulling out all the stops at the beginning. The immediate burst, the, the wake up super on the first knockdown. Yep. Yeah, we're swinging right now. Wow. Second knockdown with the back dash. Had no meter reversal that time, so just goes with the back dash. Teresa says, I too can duck jab you out of your pressure. The blitz, the re blitz. All right, Teresa gets the better of it. Right, nice instant block. Fu does get opened up, gonna get knocked down by the charge. Get you ready. Oh, slight whiffs. Gives Fu a little bit of breathing room. Pretty much an even match right now. Fireball disappears, unfortunately, so Fu uh, very wisely just blocks it out here, but it does get tagged. Oh, small drop from Teresa, maybe? Yep. All right, giving Fu a second life here. Can you take advantage of that? YRC, YRC, yep. forward punch. And he blocks the burst. Oh, but he's too, too far. the Shinken. Good block on the overhead, and the dead angle gives him a lot of space here. Oh, wow, the that's the ball. backwards into the fireball. What a break for Fu. What a first round here. All right, we are starting off top eight a little spicy, and I like it. Oh, the counter hit. hit. Huge. Th this is going to be a ton of damage, and one more good hit could stun here. Yeah. Even though that didn't finish completely, this is still a bad spot for Teresa. All right, yeah. this this gives him some some time to get that stun working off. Yeah, of course, stun, not a, not a mechanic you can see with a meter on screen, but Teresa was one bad hit away from being stunned, but now it's regained a little control. Ooh, Gets hit counter hit by the party crasher going for the ride. Yeah, corner corner here. Nice. Runs up, chases him after the wire. He catches on an air dash. Again, Teresa has to be careful. He's taking a couple counter hits. Nice air throw. Was ready for Teresa to try to escape the corner. Look out for the meter usage gets now. That's Just gonna gets be hit needy, yeah. And Fu takes game one. And the crowd erupts immediately. They are already getting behind the U.S. player here. Yep, and you say Teresa, of course, notably one of the most emotional Guilty Gear players you will ever see. But yep. no time to worry about it right now. It goes right back in, doesn't waste his time, says no, I can reset, I can get myself back in order. Ooh, has to pay the counter hit. Yep. Besides the first there. I like that first, allows him to get a key wow. charge, but immediately gripped, and here comes the tuner ball mix up. Nice defense out of Teresa. Right. Here's Small a knockdown. Punish. Okay. Look at all the instant blocks out of Fu, but he does get opened up. Yeah, and he got opened up that same way in the last game, too, on that low. Oh, catches him on the overhead. And he goes into the super, gonna be able to confirm this. Should pull him behind the back. He does. Gonna go up for the knockdown. Another mix up YRC. Where's the mix up gonna be? 
Nice, nice speed. Punch. Yeah, really nice. All right, went for the run up. Shinkin gets caught. Teresa trying wow. to find a little stability here. Gets caught on the max range sweep. Fu doing a great job blocking those uh, jump 2Ks. Ooh. Wow! Calls Get out that. the Ryujin. He was ready. Get that Ryujin out of my face. Wow. You smell like feet now, Jim. And Fu on set point already in the start of our top eight here at Frosty Fousing's 12. Yeah, Teresa's is going to have to make some huge adjustments here because it is just not working for him right now. Yeah, Fu doing what Heihun is supposed to do. Fu is taking risks, he's maximizing damage, and here we go, going for the ride. Shinkin. Here comes that mix up, Tudor Ball mix up. Teresa tries to DP out, punish, but no knockdown out of it. Fu opts to burst, wants to maintain wow, Super that momentum. Ball, he's trying to close out right now. He yes. does not want to give Teresa any momentum. Wow, that Super Ball just saved Fu there. He got counter hit by Puff Ball, but no combo. Ooh. Nice use of it. Oh, he's S. trying to hard bait the burst twice in a row there. Gave up the combo to try to bait the burst. Yeah, absolutely. Could come back to bite him. Huge meter deficit right now. Nice block on the car, Gekker, <laughs> but the RC dive kick. As fast as I talk about the, the meter deficit, Teresa spent 100 meters just like that. Yep, absolutely. Teresa does have two key charges right now, but knocked down again. Fu closed this out. Teresa waiting patiently, trying to not get caught. Uh, Strange Dragon get again, hit by Jump Heavy. The predictable attempt to escape the corner getting caught. And here OTG, the not quite enough. Teresa on his last legs here. Can Fu close this out? Catches him wow, on the trade. the trade. Teresa waited a little too long to whip punish that. Yep. And Fu hit a button after, gets the trade, and it was just enough for the kill. He just needed the one hit. And that is four straight rounds. Fu yeah, knocking Teresa down to losers just like that. On a tear, Fu taking it over Teresa. He, he made it into Tabe by being Kizzy. Yeah, absolutely. And Wow, that matchup we just saw right there, that is a matchup Heihun players like to see. Sin, on the other hand, yeah. that's not Total fun. Total polar opposite. Not fun, and Fu clutched it out. Fu is playing maybe the best I've ever seen him play right now. And Heihun is such a wild card character. Those of you who might have watched Arc Revo a couple months ago saw Cha 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 take it all the way to a runner-up finish to Omito because, well, everybody is runner-up to Omito. Yeah. But when Heihun is on point and converting those big counter hits, she's one of the scariest characters in the game, and Fu is showing you why, why right now. He's going to move on to the top four winner's side, and now we have a juggernaut of a matchup right now. I got my turn to talk about my character, but now the professor here gets to talk about his character and one of the best in the business. Peppery Splash is Venom taking on Elfo. How does Venom feel about this matchup, Brian? So I, I'm glad you asked me that because it's a, it's a it's a topic of debate, I would say. In in my opinion, I think this matchup is mostly even. I okay. think it's, it's it's pretty close to even. You sure. know, may, maybe a little bit Elfo's favor, mm -hmm. uh, but but I, I would call it even. But but Pep, on the other hand. He thinks this match was horrible. He hates it. Wow. He, th he okay. thinks Elfeld, yeah, he thinks Elfeld has a significant advantage here. Yeah. And I believe the last time these two fought, it did not go very well for Pep. If I remember correctly, he got uh, beaten by two Elfelds back to back. Lost Soul and I think Hotashi were the two that beat him. Uh, I'm trying to think of what, what was the last tournament they were at. Would that have been CEO Taku? Yeah, I think it was okay. CEO Taku. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, but, uh, uh, yeah so, so we'll have to see. I know it's funny because after that, uh, Pep and I actually had a long conversation about the matchup. Okay. And, uh, you know, just talk, talk shop a little bit about, you know, what to look for and, and some, some things to try. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see. And, and right there, what, what Lawson was just practicing for those last couple seconds, one of the most important factors in the matchup, the perfect reload rifle. Yes. So Elfelt has a perfect reload mechanic where if you, if you time the reload correctly, it's actually faster. It, yes. The animation is, is shorter. So you can actually get the rifle shots out faster, which is a night and day difference in this matchup. When, yeah. when Venom is full screen, if you can perfect reload, Elfout actually wins from full screen. Yeah. If you can't perfect reload, don't even bother trying. Yeah. It's not It's not going to happen. Venom's going to be able to maneuver around. Yeah, that's a big deal. If you can prevent Venom from setting up pool ball formations, that is a complete different dynamic in this matchup. Yeah, and, and because of that, you're going to probably see Pep here not fall back to full screen. He's going to want to try to stay in Venom's far slash range, yeah. but still outside of Elfelt's poke range. Yeah, Venom, one of the few characters I would say can actually kind of challenge Elfelt at her max range normals. Of course, Elfelt, notorious. She doesn't have a bad buck. They're right. all so good, and they're so good at so many ranges. So you're going to see a lot of fighting for that neutral space, a lot of trying to command a little bit of offensive pressure, and right off the bat, you're seeing it. And there you see immediately moves in to counter out to counteract the uh, rifle there. Yeah. Nice good block, block there yeah. from Peppery on the overhead. But that shotgun is out, and the shotgun is so difficult. Pep does jump out. Very nice. Escapes the corner. And you can see there, as soon as uh, Pep escaped the corner, 
Lossal instinctively went into Rifle because he expects the, you know, Venom to run away, but Pep just went right back in. Yeah. All right, Peppery able to earn Lossal's burst there. Pretty much even on life, so a slight advantage for Peppery right now. Oh. All right, a little bit of a whip there on the sweep, but didn't get punished. All right, he catches him with a counter hit right on the rest. Pep off to use his burst now. All right, why is he Oh, big counter hit. That's a huge conversion. Oh, small drop. Yeah, no, that's a big one for Pep. Oh, he nice the air throw. Yeah, wow, it's really good from Lasso. But nice. I can do that too, says Pep. And here comes that chip damage on the ball. Forces Wassel to use his wow. Is that the D to negate that chip damage? A nice throw break. But Peppery should have enough to close this out. Yes, yeah, blocked that bridle really high up. He dashed up, so the bridle hit way too high, and Pep knew that it was going to be his advantage there. Yeah. Yeah, really nice use of the forward punch, of course. One of the best, if not the best, anti-air in all of Guilty Gear. Resets it into the air grab. Peppery right now looking real nice in the second round of his first game. Look at that. Attempt to escape, trying to beat that. Wow, really great ball control there. Control space rips him to give it right now. Every with an 80% life advantage. Already earns Lossal's burst. Now, here we go. Pep getting pushed back to the corner. Needs to fight back out. Yeah, Pep right. with a lot of meter right now, too. Yeah. He gets caught by the Pineberry, though. Should get his burst back here shortly, but he's going to have to fade this corner mix up. Nice block in the overhead. Thought maybe he was going to dead angle here, but he's just going to hold it. Gets oh. caught by the command grab. Yep. You gotta be careful, you don't want to burst wrong in shotgun. Yeah, very hard to burst this correctly. He's just gonna hold it here. Maybe yeah. wake up first Dark Angel? Yeah. Yep. Good. Call. But the but the grenade. Yep. Okay, gets out from under it. Nice! Gets the 6P. Oh, no! Drops it, could have had it! And now the dead angle back from Lost Soul. Good block. 2S right. just too far. Oh, that's gonna hit. Yeah, very nice from Pep. Yeah. Excellent call out from the Venom player here on the mic. Says, wake up, burst, Dark Angel gonna get me out of the situation. So there's only one thing Venom could do with that much meter. Yeah. And even Lost Souls like, yeah, yeah, good choice. I respect it. All right, so pep up a game. Looking pretty crisp right now. Yeah, when you have two players of this caliber, getting that first game in a set, this, this deep at top eight, is exactly what you want to do right now. Pepper looking good, controlling space, nice confirm Very there. nice, very Pepper. nice. Wow, so rare that burst out of Lost Soul. You do not see that often. And Pepper going to take full advantage. All right, that venom pressure going strong. Stagger up for the looking nice. throw. Nice. Wow, great answer of Pepper's splash. Catches him again. Also looking a little oh. lost right now. Small mistake there from Pep. Didn't uh, get quite enough damage on that short combo. Oh man, don't give Lost Soul a chance. Yeah, yeah he's no, just gonna burst. No, I respect that burst right there. Yeah, you do not give Lost it, Soul a break. It doesn't feel good to burst there, but you know what no. feels even worse? Letting Lost Soul run the round all the way back. Yeah, no. How many times have you seen Lost Soul make a minor adjustment at a round like that? Completely steal away a game and then a set changes right then and there. So I approve Peppery not trying to hold on to burst, not be greedy. And that puts him on set point right now. Man, Pep is looking sharp right now. He's just doing everything right and making Lost Soul look like a chump here. This, yeah. is, this is looking so easy for Pep. Bates the blitz. Gonna get max damage oh. off the RC. Tried to hard bait the uh, burst there, it looked like. Yeah, no, still works out. Nice. Oh, he this, this could be burst save. This man for all he is worth. And right now, Peppery about to close this out. All right. Lost Soul says, I'm not done yet. How far can you run it back? Nice. My friend gets poked. The burst save combo. Okay. Finally has to use it. But right now, Lost Soul has no resources to work with. He does have an eater, but no burst. And yeah, there it is, that the last far poke. S. Wow. Man, Lost Soul, you know, one of the best in the U.S., arguably going by results. I think a lot of people would say he is the best yeah, in the U.S. The most and consistent XR player since the game came out, I would say. Yeah, and, and Peppery just made it look easy there. Yeah. I mean, we talk, talked about before that match how Pep didn't really like the matchup, doesn't yeah. really like the matchup, but he made it look like he was super comfortable there. Well, now you get to walk up to him and be like, see, I told you this matchup's free. Yeah, What's wrong no with you? No problem. Yeah. No problem. Just just, just make Lost Soul look bad. Everybody does it every day at Guilty Gear tournaments. Yeah, no yeah. No problem. Happens all the time. All right, so congratulations to Pep. We're going to see Pep versus Foo later on for our winner's finals. But for now, we got to move down to our loser's bracket. So our matches are going to be GC Yoshi versus Daymendo and Kizzy versus Marlin Pie. Yeah, this is a big deal. Those of you who are Frosty Faustings fans, keep up with us every year. Kizzy K, you're defending Frosty. Faustings champion, of course, last year punched that first ever ticket to Arc Revo World Finals by winning this tournament, and now is already fighting for his tournament life at the very beginning of top eight and taking on one of the old school players of the Guilty Gear universe, Marlin Pie, of course. Yeah. Hung on to the Zato train for as long as, as, long long as he could. could. Yeah, had to pry it out of his out of his clutch. Yes, and but has 
woken up and accepted that Eno is the most Kyohei character that was ever created in Guilty Gear history and has embraced it well. Ever since he switched, it's, it, nothing's really changed. You just, you look up, there's Marlon Pie in top eight. Some things never change in Guilty Gear. And this matchup, of course, not very fun for Eno, because of course Eno prides herself on that ability to dash, that weird style Morgan air dash if you're a vampire savior fan. But there's a big problem with that in this matchup, and its name is Beak Driver. Yeah. Yeah, Sin just really excels at controlling the space that Eno wants to move into. Absolutely. And really makes it difficult for her to enact her game plan. I, I think we're going to see a lot more HCL. Yeah. Just fishing for that that easy knockdown, get his get get Eno's game going. Yeah. No, Eno has to be a little more patient than she would like in this matchup. Right out the gate, you see it. Yeah, first move, beat drive, yep. Radikizzi. Yep. Asserting that dominance already a 50% life lead with basically no effort. Nice right. backdash there for Marlon Pye, though. And here comes the Eno Blender. I like that first move, Kizzy. Okay. I'm a big advocate against safe, uh, safe bursting against Okizemi characters early on. Give yourself a chance to get another get out of jail card. But already, is he going to get pushed to the corner? And here we go. Man, Marlon Pie just makes Eno look so buttery smooth. Just, just flawless execution here. Yep. He catches him on the dash. You have to guess, but it's so hard to see if it's going to be a high or low out of those dash mix ups. Kizzy does have some meter to work with, and his burst is already back. Like I said, opt to use it early, so it gives him another chance to utilize this. And now, he oh. the back, but he's going to get hit. Yeah, the super. Got the elf hunt and tags on the extra hit for the kill. Yeah, nice awareness there by Marlon Pie. Saw a tiny gap in there. Able to get the super. Out, he's going to take the first round in this set. See if Kizzy K can make an adjustment. Ooh. Counter hit. Beat driver. Yeah, and after a little bit of a uh, risk gauge build up there, those those three moves did 40% there on uh, on Eno. Yeah. Sin, he does a little bit of damage. He's yeah. just a smidgen now and again. And you see it right there. Nice air throw from Kizzy K. Pogo's in, catching Marlon Pie. Going to do big damage. Is he able to close this out? Oh, yeah, absolutely. He's got 100 meter. Yeah. This should be enough to finish the job. He uses everything right. Oh. not to argue. RC decides he's gonna do it with the mix-up. Nice. All right. I like yeah, it. I thought he was gonna RC and then just do, you know, yeah, some kind of beat driver stand, yeah. close it out. But all right, Kizzy, yep. Kizzy knows better than I do, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah, he's most people will tell you, Kizzy K is not just the best sin in North America. He is the best sin in the world. He's been consistently the character the player that takes this character the farthest. And he's worked hard, plays very fundamentally sound. Right now, he catches Marlon Pike on a gap. And right yeah. now has a nice light lead to work with, but Marlon Pai base that burst, that's a big deal. Yeah, that was, that was a burst safe rat, I believe. The giveaway there is the fact that uh, he faultless the burst. Normally, you wouldn't want to do that if you were hard reading it. Yep. Counter hit jump does Nice though. conversion. Yeah, that was Keeping really it relatively nice. burst safe there as well with the 5H ender. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, catches him on the forward. Heavy in the air. Really nice there. Does earn the hard burst. Not quite able to finish it off, though. And Kizzy a little low on food, but it yep. doesn't matter. Catches him with the low, and Kizzy K takes game one in this loser's final or loser side set. Yeah, this is what we were talking about. You see Marlon just having a hard time getting his game plan going. We saw in round one there, once he got the knockdown, he was able to, you know, do some damage. But one thing we didn't talk about right there, the DP. So yes. as hard as it is for Eno to get into her optimal range, it's also that hard for her to stay in her optimal range because the threat of the DP is always looming. Yeah, Sin has the safest dragon punch in the game because he can cancel it into his other special moves by spinning that calorie meter. You see Kizzy utilizing that. His earned back, push Marlon by the corner. A nice trade on the Wow, she goes under. Yeah. Wow. Oh, she almost went under, got tagged uh, backwards at the very end there. Yeah, a little if bit he... of a benefit there for Marlon Pike. Could have been sent to the corner for the full combo, but now we're on the other corner. Oh. Big the first and Kizzy K, just like that, on set point, Marlon Pike. One round away from going home out of this top eight here across the Falcons 12. Kizzy, All right, push awesome towards the corner course. yet again. Yeah. Kizzy just looking smooth, feeling confident right now, not allowing more fight. That oh, that risk gauge. Oh, oh my god! god. He and tried to pick up after with the 5P. If Kizzy realized that that was yeah. finished, here we go again. Full it's risk meter. Yeah. It's still flashing. Marlon Pike cannot get hit. He will die. Yeah, even still. Oh, again, just out of range to converse, but now Marlon Pike down to a fraction of life. Wow, a second beat driver. Yep. And confirms can do that. Yeah, yeah, that is it. Like that. Wow. That was pretty fast. Yeah. KZK gonna eliminate Marlon Pie.
just absolutely smothered him. Just you know, yeah. Which is what you want to do with Eno. That is oh, the game plan for beating Eno with any character. Once you have control, you better not let it go. If Eno knocks you down once, it's just like fighting Amelia. It's just like fighting an old Zato. You don't want that. That might be the end. If you get knocked down once, you may not get back and, up. And she is a bit of a glass cannon. Her, her defensive options are not very good. She's got reversal super, mm -hmm. but if you're next to her, you can throw her out of it. Yep. It's, you know, she doesn't really have a, a good meterless option. Her back dash is mediocre. It's, you know, it's pretty average. Yeah. So you do want to try to take the fight to her and get the knockdown and, and take the initiative before she does the same thing to yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely. Whenever you have a character that has to rely on your universal defensive mechanics to get you off of them, that's a good place to be. So yep. Kizzy K, not ready to relinquish that front. Frosty Faustings title just yet. And up next, another banger on the loser's side. We're going to have Dame Mendo, the premier Slayer player of North America, taking on GC Yoshi, who somehow makes Bedman still look like an actual character in this game. Yeah, so this is a NorCal classic. Both these guys, really good friends, no strength to each other, play you know pretty regularly at their locals. Mm -hmm. Kind of unfortunate that they uh, ran into each other here on the loser's side of the bracket, but you know, things happen. I mean, uh, you got well, 250 well, people, eventually it, it, exactly. you're going to have what, to fight your friends. Once you get down to eight, there's kind of no avoiding it, so yeah. it's going to happen. But, uh, yeah, have no idea how this matchup normally goes. I'm sure they've played countless times. I will say, Demindo, especially today, his reads have been pristine and actually just flat out savage. I've seen some blitzes and some call outs that you do not see, especially in a tournament. It almost looks like he's been playing like first to 20s against people and just going, yeah, of course I know what you're gonna do, stop doing it. Yeah, but at the same time for GC Yoshi to make it into this top eight, he's obviously been playing really well this Absolutely. weekend, as, you know, in his own right. So we'll have to see, I mean, again, uh, knowing, you know, intimate details about how somebody plays goes a long way in overcoming what could be a bad matchup. Yeah, so for sure. You can get player tendencies, you can make decisions you would not normally make. And we'll see what GC Yoshi can do here in this matchup. Already a nice 70% life lead. But yeah, and, and GC Yoshi is just doing the GC Yoshi thing, which is he is making you fight him. He's making you play his game. He's yep. not playing your game. You're playing his game. Yep. Look at how little damage he's taking. 55 seconds on the clock. Yeah, really patient right now, which is exactly what you should do against Slayer. Right now, GC Yoshi has a massive light lead, but it's a massive life lead against Slayer. One counter hit, it can all go away, and I like the way GC Yoshi's playing. He does finally get knocked down, but he's not pushing buttons where he's not supposed to. He's waiting his turn, not getting baited out by those big counter hit options that Slayer has. Nice back dash with the pile bunker. I mean, the way the way he's playing is just beautiful. He's yeah. just taking no risks. All right, oh, fine. finally gets caught here with something substantial. Yeah, Crosswise Steel gonna go for the full ride. Bedman, of course, very heavy, gets knocked down, and now suddenly gets hit by the anti-air. Burst. Oh, oh. A heartbeat at the gold burst now, and the uh, 2P closes it out. So GC Yoshi went that whole round playing so well, and then finally kind of uh, persuaded to get the burst out of him. Yeah, and Demendo, the hardest of the hard burst baits, and honestly, all throughout top 48, top 16, the burst thirst has been real. I've seen so many attempts at hard burst baits, and a lot of them have caused players to cop up a combo or an offensive advantage. When you hard burst bait, you better get it right. That's such a swing in momentum if you end up guessing wrong. Man, this looks so frustrating from Demendo's side. He just cannot get through the onslaught of hitboxes that GC Yoshi is throwing out. But finally gets that bite, has him in the corner. Light beat combos don't matter, the damage still counts. Oh, I think he backdashed. Oh, he did BDC it. bite. Yeah, BDC bite. Excellent call out there from Diamendo. Says, yeah, go ahead and reversal. I don't care. I have iframes for days. Mm, 2S. Beautiful anti air there by Diamendo. Now, kind of turning this on his head a little bit, getting that momentum, starting to get those reads. That's going to be big. Yeah, damage. big 6 speed. Yep. Very nice. More importantly, the positioning here in the corner. This is where Daimendo needs to keep the fight. Nice blitz. This is what Daimendo has been wow. doing all day. I can't believe that 6 H reached that high. Oh, yeah. and a small execution error, actually. Yeah. Nice wide well, see through the command dash. 5 H so soon, he was still facing the, the original way. The task able to bail out GC Yoshi there, but gets caught by the throw. And GC Yoshi down to his last life. Nice jab out of the forward kick, but. GC Yoshi oh. got a lot of life to make up and now gets chucked. Down to a chip damage here for GC Yoshi. Gets okay. the overhead with the meter. Gotta watch out for that anytime Bedman has 50%. Alright, gets the burst out of Demendo. Oh, but the air throw. Alright. Yep. 
I was going to say one more hit could be big, but Demendo able to close it out after the burst. Yeah, that is one of Ben Nan's greatest weaknesses. Is while he can kind of force you to block for a long time, he get a lot of screen pollution. His mix-up without meter is not terribly threatening, but once he has 50% access to that Roman cancel, that instant overhead becomes very, very scary. You have to be aware of it. But Demendo doing Slayer damage, waited out. No, that was a frustrating round and a half for Dave Mendo. He was yeah. getting nothing, absolutely nothing done. But when you're a Slayer player, you can get nothing done for a long time. One counter hit, suddenly you got everything done. Your entire day's work, over. Yeah, definitely got to do. Definitely got to give Dave Mendo credit there. Stayed patient, knew what he had to do. Knew that he was getting nickel and dime, but like mm -hmm. you're saying, for Slayer, that's kind of that's kind of just another day. You know, you, you got to work your way in. You're going to take some hits. You just need that one solid hit, yeah. and you'll make up all that life deficit. One of the best descriptions I ever heard about what it's like fighting Slayer and Exit is, imagine a giant stick of dynamite just keeps walking forward to you, and no matter how many times you walk and push it back, it just starts walking back towards you. And if you're not careful, it will detonate right in your face. Ooh, went for the reset there for the air grab. Yeah, nice sniff out there for GC Yoshi, but he is in a big light deficit. Goes with a burst safe route there. Yeah. Right now. Wow, wake up 2P. Yeah, no, GC Yoshi is calling out that overhead really nicely, but he's got a lot to make up. Right, nice wow, 6H anti air. Nice, nice wire C. Gets the task out, trying to get wow. those screen controls. I beat air to air, then did a falling jump P to get a single hit in. GC Yoshi just working for every little bit of damage he can get. Combos off the trade here. Yeah. Well, I thought he was going to RC for an extension, but no. Yeah, really just nice keeping that meter. Yeah, I'm keeping all the meter right now. Doesn't fake the dead angle, though. All right. Back dash, dash YRC, throw. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh, a little bit of a scramble going wow, on. Wow, 2P, no fear. Yeah, wow. And the, and the restraint on both players here, neither one bursted there and towards the end. Yeah, really surprising actually, but it comes out to GC Yoshi's favor. Instead, Mendo says, let's start this round with a burst. Yeah, and that was a great burst actually. It was guaranteed. There was no yep. way to get it baited there. And so early in the round, he's, he's going to get it back here. Yeah, but well, actually, I don't know. He's taking a lot of damage really quickly. Yeah, no. Is he going to get his burst back? I think with guts and will, he should. Yeah, all right. Getting a little bit of room here. Wow, grabs him on the bike. Does it again. All right, shakes out that time. Yeah, no, nice call. Ooh, ooh, catches him on the down heavy. Here we go. GC Yoshi has all the meter to work with. Wire sees the overhead, makes Damendo flinch, and now is on the verge of closing out the second game. But again, you can't take that raw counter hit. Damendo right. has burst here. Yeah, I was nice. going to say, but yep. is he going to have a good opportunity to actually use it? Yeah. And the answer to that question apparently was no. Yeah, no. Really nice adjustment there from GC Yoshi. And again, like you said, two players that play each other all the time, you're seeing those very, very quick adjustments. It's so hard when you're in a, hey, it's two games. That's all you get. Normally, we play like a hundred of these, and now you've got to make these two count. Your adjustments, your decision making, how you're at it, and counter hit pile bunker. Yeah, counter hit K pile for the ground slide. Yeah. And GC Yoshi, nice job being patient on the first, waiting for the pop up, but already at a 50% life deficit. Ooh, counter hit jump heavy, that's gonna hurt. Yeah. Here comes the mix up. Everything is working for Demendo right now. Wow, GC Yoshi actually I beat the it's late. That that was his turn to take, but he didn't take it, and Demendo pushed on. Yeah. Right. Uh, RC catches and pushing buttons. RC should have enough to close this out. Yeah. Demendo on set point. Yeah, Demendo just got some early momentum in that round. Made it real easy for him to, to really push damage early and force uh, GC Yoshi into multiple bad spots. Yeah. Right All right, six P for the knockdown. Not a lot of damage, but he will take any knockdown he can get. And GC Yoshi's just trying to run away and create some space. Got a couple of uh, replays available to him. Yeah, those Deja Vu symbols, so vital for Batman. Very much a snowball character. If you leave him alone, those Deja Vu symbols become very dangerous green pollution options. Right now, neutral going back and forth. Dave Mendo finally wins out with a pile bunker, but ooh, the Again. counter hit. And here we go. Oh, oh too just far too away. far. Wow, actually knocks him out of the recovery of Crossfire deal. Wow, it clashed. It clashed that with the two each. Quite the call out from Dave Mendo, and he does get out. GC Yoshi jumps out of the mix up, but backs away from the fight. 
GC Yoshi trying to keep himself oh. alive here. Big counter hit. Oh, the, the fireball just hit on the way back. Yeah. All right. Catches okay. him on the low, and we are going to a final game, final round here at Frosty Faustings 12. That was a huge round for GC Yoshi because he actually won that round without spending his burst, so he's got a small burst advantage here going into the final round. Yeah, absolutely. One more round decided here. Winner moves on. Loser goes home, tied for seventh place. Right now, that guard bar got to be careful, GC Yoshi. Wow, his uh, two P timings are great and nice six H. Yeah, great call out to catch it. Oh, did, did he hit? wire C? Oh, he did blocking. not. In the punish for GC Yoshi and Daymendo. Daymendo bent it all on that, using his burst. He has yeah. no resources now, stuck in the corner. This is where Bedman is at his absolute best. Yeah, Daymendo going to have to find a way out. Gets hit, and he is down to probably one more mix up for his tournament life. Gets meatied. OTG, that's not going to be enough, but this Wait, is GC Yoshi. Yoshi gonna take it over his good friend Damendo. Unbelievable. Yeah. Damendo thought he saw a gap and said, I'm betting my tournament life right now on a burst super. If it had hit, if you've never seen burst dead on time hit raw, the life bar gets deleted. So that's gonna settle the end of the loser side. We gotta give a shout out to our sponsors right now. Of course, Under Night in Birth. CLR coming out very, very soon. Next month, the newest iteration of Undernight. Be sure to get your pre-order in. Check it out. Total character rebalance and a new character going to be available. And of course, uh, C2E2, check them out. Chicago Comic and Entertainment Expo. You can uh, get your badges now at C2E220.com slash FF. And ready games, you want to get some cash prizes, use the secret code FROSTY. Access yourself an exclusive game with a price pool of $300. Go to the App Store or Google Play, thereadygames.com. And Arcade Candy Collective, check them out. Them, the high quality enamel pins, you can get 10% off using the code FFCANDY. Check them out at uh, arcadecandycollective.bigcartel.com. And of course, New Way Toys. Get yourself a 1 6 scale mini arcade These machine. These things are these, so cool. These are excellent. Really, really cool. The tiny arcade sticks, really functional. Murphigator show me one of these. You can straight up play arcade games on these. $99.99 for that arcade cab. 15 bucks for the mini arcade stick. Go to newwavetoys.com. And uh, of course, Axel, check them out. You can uh, save 10% off uh, at uh, axelmerch.com using the code FROSTY. Of course, one of the biggest games around right now, Te Tekken going on, ChicagoTekken.com. Get yourself in there. Tournament recaps, exclusive merch. Go over, follow them on Twitter. Check them out at the Teespring stores slash Chicago Tekken. All right, friends, we got to take a short break here in the middle of top eight. Get some ads in for our sponsors. Do not go anywhere. The main event is just getting started. We are about to crown a champion in the first Guilty Gear tournament of the new decade. We'll be right back. Friends, welcome back to Frosty Faustings 12. You are right smack dab in the main event, Guilty Gear XR Rev 2 Top 8. My name is Clage. I'm here with the professor himself, Ryan Hunter, and we have more bangers coming up for you right here, right now. We're down to our final six. Get a bracket up for you so you can see where we are sitting. And right now, in the winner's finals, we're gonna have Peppery Splash taking on Fu. And in the loser's side, Teresa still trying to get over those Frosty Faustings demons, taking on GC Yoshi and Lost Soul in Kizzy K. That is one hell of a loser's bracket matchup right there. Yep, yep. So the, these are some of America's finest that are, uh, you know, we're whittling down to here. We got Kizzy, just saw him a little while ago take out Elvin. Yep. And, uh, and uh, Lost Soul, we saw lose to Pep. So. Going to see if uh, Lost Soul can pull it together here, because we really didn't see much out of him against no, Pepper Splash. Yeah, a very surprisingly kind of subdued Lost Soul in that matchup. See if he can find his legs. And he's going to try to eliminate your defending Frosty Faustings champion in Kizzy K. And we're going right in. Winner moves on. Loser will go home in fifth place. And right now, both characters dancing, getting that neutral advantage. Lost Soul is going to push the corner. Cross is over. Very nice. Going to get the full convert. Cross is back under. Very nice conversion there from Lost Soul. And in comes the jump dust wire. See Kizzy trying to wait it out. Yeah, <laughs> great block there. Oh, he tried to back throw into the corner. Got yeah. five H. Yeah. Again, still waiting turn, but finally gets command thrown out of the shotgun stance. And that's going to wrap up his first round. Lost Soul with a quick. And that's that super quick adaptation. So Lost Soul purposely did the C 
same setup twice. After Kizzy blocked it the first time, he did the same setup and did the command grab the second time. Yeah. He said, alright, if you're just going to block this, then uh, block, block this command grab. Yep. No, absolutely. That classic adaptation that Lost Soul tends to show. And right now, looking quite nice. Already has Kizzy back in the corner. Not even with the full confirm there, but nowhere for Kizzy to go. Gets caught again. And right now, also on the verge of taking a quick first game. There's that command grab again. Has to burn the burst there for Kizzy. Well, gets hot. This is going to be enough with that much meter. And yeah. Lost Soul. Perfect timing on that close slash. After the RC walked up, knew exactly when the block zone was going to end, was ready with the close slash, counter hit Kizzy, and that was all she wrote. Yeah, no. Really, really dominant there from Lost Soul. Kizzy now down to his tournament life. Trying to defend that belt that he earned last year at Frosty Fousing's 11. But Lost Soul. Alright, Lost Soul just on a tear right now, not giving Kizzy a chance to breathe. Yep. Alright, Calbat rolls through him, pushes him back to the corner. Kizzy has had no chance to run any form of offense in this set yet. Trying to wait his turn. There's nowhere to go. His guard gauge is flashing. Oh, flashing. counter hit. Yeah, that, that's going to be it. Yeah, no, you can't burn the burst. Wow. What? Lost Soul. Trouble. Hard to throw the burst? Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe looking for a, a soul steal there? Maybe, maybe he thought it was the last round or something because there's no way Kizzy was going to burst. No, that. absolutely not. And Kizzy down to his last breath here at Frosty Fausty's 12. Right. Finally, with, with some momentum here, getting yeah. something going. Oh, but the back dash wow. puts a stop to that. That's an excellent back dash out of Lost Soul. And he regains the momentum, just steadily pushing Kizzy to the corner. Yeah, these dashing two P's really annoying here. Yep. And that guard gets nice, nice jump escape. Out. Really, really good for Kizzy. He needed that. But slides under and gets counter hit. Oh, that was a scary burst. Yep. Barely made contact with Lost Soul. Yep. Kizzy trying to find a little footing right now. Gets counter hit again, and Lost Soul has the meter, but drops it. But wow, the Lost Soul under. Hits backwards. Wow, that is. Both. Tough, tough break there for Kizzy. Yeah. Everything going right here for Lost Soul. But wait a minute, here's some momentum finally. Yeah, went up and threw an air blitz. But now Lost Soul. All right. Oh, nice. All right, gonna go into that super. This is gonna be a lot of damage. Should get the full confirm after. Yes, How he is does. he gonna play around the burst here? How is he gonna play around the burst here? It goes for Voltic Dame. Where this is, is a good up? way. Yep, Runs and the throw. And OTG. No, no, doesn't want to let him burst it. Kizzy no chip attempt. Alive. The sniper rifle trying to chip oh. it out. Bridal Express, any chip will oh, do it, and the, the overhead. overhead! Wow. And Lossal over Kizzy. Man, that is a, such a tough situation where an OTG will kill. But if the first hit doesn't, that's a free OTG burst for Lost Soul, and then what do you do? Kizzy opted to say, I can get you one more time. I think yeah. I can finish the job. Lost Soul showing that prime defense, that amazing patience and adaptation he's known for. And he eliminates our defending Frosty Fousey champion. We will have a new winner here at the premier Guilty Gear Midwest tournament to start a brand new decade. Yeah, so congratulations, Lost Soul. Moving on after that hard loss from Peppery Splash. Eliminates Kizzy because he's going to go out in fifth place. So now we're down to five. Kizzy's tied fifth place yep. with uh, somebody that we're about to see right now. It's going to be either GC Yoshi or Teresa. Yeah. They're going to be our next match. Uh, Teresa, we saw just lose to Fu pretty pretty badly. Yeah, dominant performance by Fu. And, and as you know, Teresa has had absolute demons at this tournament. The very first time he came to Frosty Faustings, didn't even clear top eight. Actually got knocked out in the top 16. Showed a lot of frustration. Came back combo breaker that year. Had an amazing run in that grand final versus Daro. And then came back the next year and said, no, this is my time. Eventually lost that close set to Kizzy and then was eventually eliminated by Peppery Splash. He is tired of being the Frosty Faustine bridesmaid, but if he wants that streak to end, he has to do it out of the loser's bracket already. And GC Yoshi, who has looked quite clean throughout this entire tournament, I mean, this is really going to put GC Yoshi to the test, right? Because yes. his play style, I, I kind of alluded to it earlier, he is he's going to try to make you play his game. He's going to try to play that zoning game. He wants to frustrate you. He wants to whittle you down. He wants to stay on the other side of the screen. And if there was anybody at this tournament who is going to try to get in there, it is going to be Teresa. Oh, absolutely. No. Jim is not about that patient, we're going to dance back and forth. Right. I want to play neutral. No. I want to maul you. Yes. I have normals. I have pressure. You do not have fast yes, normals. She wants to be in his face immediately. Absolutely. So, let's see what Teresa has for us. The only non-North American player left in this oh. tournament and a counter to Pup 
curveball going to start it off right for yeah. Teresa. That's a decent amount of stun, too. Yeah. No. Batman has a very high stun resistance, but those counter hits add up. Nice escape, though. Wow, just gets hit meaty there. Yep. And Teresa already has a full bar of meter, by the way. Wow, Eric throws the jump 2K. What a read. Incredible. Wow. Woo, the catches him on the back end and another air throw. We are going back and forth. So much for the patience. We are going to do it, a heavyweight title fight right now. It's pretty even right now, yeah. too. Seems yeah. like Teresa's had most of the momentum, but the light bars don't reflect that. No, not at all. And he's going to try and close this out with yeah. power. Yes, and that's shoot. going to do it pretty easily. He doesn't yep. even need the other meter. No, not at all. And of course, Bedman has a gigantic hitbox. A lot easier to time the second hit of that Dude. super. Teresa draws first blood, takes round one in the first game here on this loser side match. Ooh, big counter hit. Yep. Going to take him to the corner, get a card. Yep. Already charged up, ready to go, Teresa. That's a trade. Honestly, GC would take what? that. Nice grip on the, on the slide, though. GC Yoshi trying to get a little space once you get those Deja Vu symbols out. But again, Teresa with the Kara deck oh. again and a bad burst. Yeah, the 2H naturally burst safe there. You're a little bit high in the air and she's yep. crouching kind of, so yep. pretty hard to burst that really ever. Teresa, yep, going yeah. to RC into the burst super. This is going to close it out. Just keeps it super simple. Yep, no, I like that. Just use all your meter, utilize the resources. One of the biggest things, and something that's bitten a lot of people in this tournament today, failing to execute when you have the resources to do so. You do not leave a Guilty Gear player alive. If you can finish the job, you must. And Teresa doing a nice job with his resources there, and is on the verge of staying alive in Frosty Mouse. GC Yossi right now really has not had a chance to breathe and stuck in the corner yet again. Yeah, and this is where Jam is just a terror. That far slash ID, yep. we just saw it a second ago, really hard for Bedman to stop. Right now, GC Yoshi looking really lost. Teresa absolutely mauling him. There is no room to breathe. Gonna finish it off with a super for some style points. And, and just like that, I mean, that's what Jam does. She yep. gets one knockdown, gets in the corner, and just runs her game. Really hard to get out of that, as a, you know, with a character like Pedman. Yeah, no, no fast normal. Doesn't have a fast jump. Kind of have to commit to some risky doesn't, options. Doesn't have a good 6P. No. And now, GC Yoshi gets counter hit again. Just nowhere to go at the moment. Teresa doing exactly what we talked about. This is what Jam wants. I want to be in your face. I want to absolutely bulldog you down. And finally, GC Yoshi earns a burst, but Teresa right back in with a lot of meter to work with. Wire Seas goes up and gets him, and yep, Charge get her in, gonna get that knockdown. Yeah, because he had the card that did knock down, so yep. GC Yoshi's still stuck in this corner. Yep. It gets caught. Teresa has that. Is meter. that it? That's it. Yeah, Bow is gonna close this Right out. before he got his burst back. Yep, and Teresa takes no time, takes no prisoners, and absolutely mauls GC Yoshi out in fifth place. Man, some of these matches have been really one sided. Yeah. Just goes to show you, you know, there's, there's still a lot of uh, levels to these players, even amongst the top eight, you know? Yeah. Just some of these players are just so dominant, and some of these matchups are just really that hard. I mean, to try to zone a character like Jam is just very, very difficult. Once she touches you that one time, it's, a, it's such a nightmare trying to get her away. Yeah. And we're down to the last five, now four players, in a 250-person bracket. Mental fatigue is a very real thing at this point in oh, the tournament. Yeah. You get mentally guard broken once against a player of these calibers, you're not going to recover. Yeah, and some of these players probably had pools this morning. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we started pools last night and did not finish. We right. had pools starting last evening and then th this morning a vast majority of the pools ran. Then we went straight into top 48, 16, and now down to your final four here at Frosty Falcons 12. We're going to go right back into it. You have a winner's finals match. You're going to have, oddly enough, your two commentators' characters. There may be a bit of bias, but at least you're going to get proper information here on the mic. Who's hey is going to take on Pembery So what, what do you think of this matchup? This matchup is really interesting. If Fu can't, if, if Heihun never gets the Venom, it's gross. You just feel like you are literally blocking every pool ball, every 6P, and it feels like you don't get to play the game. But one knockdown because of Venom's yep. wake-up tendencies, his lack of a good defensive option, oh boy, it gets bad quick. But 
This is all about the neutral game. Yeah, I think, I think Venom does a really good job zoning out Heyoon, as well as, you know, if, he, if Heyoon tries to take to the air, try yep. to use that air mobility with the air Hayabusa, Venom yep. has a lot of ways to send those pool balls straight upwards to stop that. So, really hard for Heyoon because of the kind of slow, you know, overall slowness yep. and the big body, really hard to maneuver around the projectiles. Yeah, a lot of times Heyoon players have to use a lot of meter, use stuff like an air Hayabusa YRC dash, get in, stuff like this. Stuff like right there, yep, that, that exactly. Hayabusa YRC just to move forward. Yep, but every Splash sniffs it out, goes up, gets him on the air to air with the ball, gonna put Dark Angel on. It's gonna be a lot of chip damage and Boo with almost no meter to fall in his defense. About to be put in a checkmate situation, but gets a throw. What can you do with it? All right. Oh, the fireball on the way back. Tricky. Yep. Okay, what we're talking about catches him with the forward kick. That looks like an overhead. It's actually a low. He does earn Pepper's burst. That's a big win for Foo, even if he can't close out this round. Let's see that Bishop round out, bouncing around, trying to chip out. Hey, and yep, finally him. catches him. Uh, he, he got that last hit in just in time. The Bishop was just about to disappear. I thought it might disappear before he was able to hit it there, actually. Yeah, absolutely. Nice crouching punch, and Foo gonna get that first mix-up. All right, catches him. Not able to confirm it here. Crouching heavy, though. Could've been a lot of damage, right? That orange Hayabusa is plus on block. Yeah, absolutely. You gotta be really careful about that. Ooh, Whoa, nice what a trade. Yeah, Foo with good recognition there. Nice jump out by Pep. The Tuner Ball mix-up is honestly a lot less real than a lot of people think it is. You have to be very tight with those, and if you give any breath, but max range dust from Foo. Oh, wow, good, good awareness, fight. really good awareness. Yeah, that's actually a combo that does not work on Venom because he has this very thin falling hitbox on the wall. You don't want to use the red Tuner Ball in the dust combo. Nice, high option here from Peppery. Gonna take him towards the corner. Yep, Dark Angel trying to keep Hayfun in place, of course, being a big body oh. character. Alright, YRC trying to get out. Foo, push back. Oh, oh IB, but weak punish, not enough. Oh, air high boost. Okay, two and S. Crouching S. And Pepper, you're gonna take game one. We are in winners' finals. This is a three out of five set. You have to get to three if you want to take your place in grand finals. Foo showing you the, the bits of momentum are there. It takes that one big hit, that one big chance. And right there, those are the kind of risks you have to take as Hayhun. Throw out a random shit and try and get that big counter hit. That is how Hayhun wins this matchup. But right now, Peppery showing good patience, runs up, gets a throw. I like the first safe combo here. Yeah, first safe route. Right, nice duck jab into a knockdown for Foo. But again, he's giving gaps in the mix up, but the air throw. Right, trying to make him block, catches him on the low, it does earn Peppery's burst. We're pretty even right now. The blitz, I beat the, it. Wow, nice call out from Peppery, runs up and throws after the IB blitz. Oh, one to five P that ball, winds up, winds up getting uh, kicked in the head there. Yeah, unfortunately not able to get a good mix up off the tuner ball wire, so that's really hard to time. And now, oh, push to the corner. Right, the mix up, empty jump low. Peppery going up. He wants to try and finish this right now. Yeah, but it's not going to be enough. Nope. Yep. YRC Ooh, misses catching. the air grab. Yep. Okay, the charge fireball actually hit him away. Couldn't get it behind him. Foo trying to push nice. the corner. There. Yep, there it is. The best anti-air Guilty Gear XR you could ask for. Peppery goes up 1-0 in the second game. Ooh, counter, counter hit. Yeah, yep. yeah, it's going to be a conversion. Yeah, very nice. Foo getting max damage down. And here comes the mix-up. All right, yep. Foo with a lot of damage and another opportunity here. Peppery able to jump out. Foo's been giving a little bit of too much breathing room for Peppery to jump out of these tuner ball mix-ups. All right, nice run up low there. Peppery sets two pool balls, catches him on the double overhead. Nice burst safe use, and once again, Dark Angel coming out. Yeah, gonna, gonna force him to choose between his meter and his life yep. from the chip damage there. Here we go again. Ooh, right now with nowhere to go. Ooh. Has to burst, gets himself a little breathing room, but now what is the plan? Right, trying to catch him on a frame trap, nothing doing, gets caught by forward heavy. Oh, nice trade on the match nice. but the pool ball is there. Yeah, tech back into the pool ball, very smart awareness there from Pep. Yep. Right now, that, yep. And the chip, oh, yep. so much chip damage there. Yeah. One of the biggest strengths of Venom, he is one of the only characters in Guilty Gear that has a legit chip damage game. It is one of his win conditions is just, no, I'm gonna eat all your meter, I'm gonna force you to hold all this chip damage. And Peppery, one game away from punching his ticket to Grand Final where he has been two years in a row. 
wanting to try and nice get that air grab. And yeah, Bad that's burst. naturally burst safe. Yep. Sometimes if Venom is, is close to you when he gets the what, what, if he uh, gets that grab, that air grab, it, you can burst there, but it's pretty risky. Yeah, no, right now, Peppery is total control. Who does get a dead, a dead angle, but immediately gets caught again. Peppery right now looking awful dominant. This is exactly what we're talking about. Right now, Fu's just not able to get around all the zoning. But does get a blitz here. He's going to get a knockdown. Can he make the most of this? No. Nice. Yeah. Ivy into grab. Yep. That is one of the big dangers of hey Hun's tuner ball mix up. If you are too close to them, your opponent can throw with impunity. hey Hun is a link-based character. There are gaps in a lot of her strings. Peppery recognizes that, and now it's on set point. Looking to punch his ticket to winner's finals, but the gross mix up. Fu with a little momentum, catches him right. with the, the throw. All right. Crowd, crowd getting a little excited now. Yeah, no, some very nice all three. Wow, Ooh. the jump in blitz. Peppery calling out, goes up and air grips him. Yeah, from that height, Venom doesn't get anything off the air throw, so he just takes the opportunity to set a ball. Oh, Fu pushes the button, gets caught by Stingray and YRC. That's going to be a lot of damage into a full setup. All right, nice instant blocks from Fu. Can he make his way out of the corner? Nope, gets thrown. And right now, Peppery looking to close this out, punch that ticket to grand finals. It's going to be a lot of chip here. He wants to take him off at least 50% yep. meter. That's going to be it. Yeah, that is going to be it. Peppery played that matchup pristine. That is exactly how Venom plays that matchup. Own the screen, control everything that's going on, and then once you gain full control, get that knockdown, you get to run your mix-up on a big body character, and that is a feasting time for Venom. Yeah, Venom has a lot of advantages in that matchup. Again, talked about just Heihun struggling to maneuver around the pool yeah. balls, but you know things like 6P, Far Slash can really be annoying for Heihun to, mm -hmm. to deal with. And then like you're saying, once Venom does get the knockdown, it's hard for Heihun to get out of the pressure yes. for the same reasons. So, yeah, that tough, is, tough, tough, uh, tough, you know, matchup there for Fu. He, yeah. he gave it his best, but Pep just looking very dominant right now. Yeah. Pep looks kind of unstoppable, honestly. Yeah, no, looking real good. Like we said, Peppery is trying to end that run of being the bridesmaid at Frosty Faustings, and right now is going to be in grand finals on the winner's side. So, if someone wants to stop that path, they're going to have to take six from Peppery Splash when all is said and done. But we have to see who gets that opportunity first. And on to the loser's side, we have a big one coming right at you. Teresa and Lost Soul. Lost Soul, of course, has made a living in Exert beating Japanese players in big tournaments. Yeah, getting third in Evo. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So that was that was two years ago already yep. that he got third in Evo. But yeah, Lost Soul talked about it multiple times already. One of, if not the best player in the US, just overall lifetime result, you know, result based. Mm -hmm. uh, but this matchup also very interesting. I think Elfelt does very, very well against mm -hmm. uh, against uh, Jam. We, we've seen, uh, particularly Hotashi, I think it was at C Otaku again to yes. reference that last tournament, utilize a, a very interesting kind of just all shotgun strategy yeah. because shotgun age is like a nightmare for Jam. It just covers that perfect height and that perfect range where it makes it really hard for her to move forward. Yeah, absolutely, no. Teresa, and, and interestingly enough, you would think, well, you know, Teresa plays at the Kato, plays at the biggest arcades in Japan. Has to know this matchup right. Well, that's the thing. Elfeld is not a popular character in Japan. She is not well represented. There are almost no high-level Elfeld players. So, Teresa gonna have to rely on the matchup knowledge she's learned playing over here in the States regularly. And right now, off to a very nice start. Yeah, I would say even differently, it's not so much that there's there's, there's not that many players, because he does have access to Fumo and Mikado where he yes. plays, but they play so differently. Fumo Absolutely. plays so differently than both Lost Soul and other high-profile pro Elfelds like Otashi. Yeah, Elf Elfeld a character, honestly, a lot like Venom. You can have three Elfeld players, and you totally will fight different. three different characters as you do so. So, But Teresa having no trouble so far, up around already over Lost Soul. Yeah. And here's that shotgun. You can see the game plan coming to life here, just straight into shotgun whenever possible. Yeah, no, this is what Lost Soul wants to do. That shotgun is the key to victory. Nice cross back over and chucks it into the corner. YRC tries to hold him there, but finally gets knocked back. The overhead, it looked like Teresa was standing, might have been pushing a button, maybe looking for parry. Right, it's back dash, so he gets the opportunity to throw the grenade. Doesn't want to have to hold that. And there yeah. you see yep. the shotgun H stopping the IED is yep. such a huge benefit for Elfel. 
She doesn't have to worry about, you know, how is she approaching? Is she approaching on the ground? Is she approaching in the air? It's a one button, no input. You just hit H when you see yep. her move forward. And very nice conversion there from Lost Soul. Realized he got enough meter for Super. Converts for the full execute. Ooh, counter hit, far slash, gets a knockdown. Yep. Lost Soul doing what we see him do so often, adjusting mid-match, making good decisions, and the shotgun is out again. Yep. Okay, Teresa does block the over. Nice max range sweep to get himself out of the corner. Get a little momentum, goes up, grabs a nice tech button though from Lost Soul. And back to the corner goes Teresa. All right, throw the grenade, yes. That's the, that's the Lost Soul classic setup. Yep. All right. Ooh, wow. Wow. I Gets like the 5-H. Calculated burst. Teresa's really sitting on this burst. Yep. He's going to get chipped out if he yeah, doesn't do just something. dies with his burst. Yep. Couldn't find an opportunity to use it. Yeah, no, it, it, like we talked about in the earlier matchup, Bursting against shotgun is a nightmare. There is no good place to do it. You are almost guaranteed to get burst baited with no effort. It's not like the oh. NFL player has to do a lot. And speaking of baited burst. Yeah, Lasso going with a burst, a, a, a mostly burst safe route there, sacrificing some potential damage to uh, go wow. burst safe. Wow, and just no fear. Lasso is in Teresa's head right now. And those demons that we talked about, Teresa tried so many times to get over the hump at this tournament that he is about to be on he set point. Yeah. Yes, Teresa on life support right now. He is looking very close to dead. Yeah, no, he's gonna have to adjust real fast here. Lost Soul. Once okay. he has a read on an opponent, it goes real bad. But Teresa drops first blood. What a pair in. All right. We see you, Teresa. I like that burst right now. Denies the card charge. Lost Soul wants to immediately regain that momentum, not give Teresa any life. Another nice max range sweep. Parry's wow, again. another parry, but gets tagged by the bridle this time. Yep. All right, Teresa gonna go back to the corner, and the shotgun is out, just like we talked about. Again. A sweep again. Yeah, three Teresa sweeps has found this a round. But wow, throws it out of board heavy. Are you serious? Into the corner, he's gonna get a nice combo off this too. Lost Soul, we see you. Another run up throw. Teresa wow. does get out. Okay, ducks under the shot. All right, here comes the key charge where the mix-up be. Catches him. Oh, not able to convert, though. And Teresa corners himself. Ryujin doesn't have enough to finish the job, but there's meter there. One more conversion. Teresa can take this round, keep himself alive. Throw. And it's yes. enough because of the risk gauge. Okay. All right, Teresa not done yet. Trying to push this to a final game. Here we go. Who catches him on the far slash. Lost Soul draws first blood. Has already earned the corner. Right, Teresa, the shotgun is out. Teresa, be patient. Yeah, he's got to get out of this corner. Oh, you. gets hit. Careful how you burst. Yep, don't waste it. This is your last chance, Teresa. Gets hit by the Pineberry. The wait for the block, but the command grab. Oh, the burst. And it yeah, baited him. That nothing. is a wrap. Yeah. There was no way he was going to get away with no. that burst. That That's the that's the price you pay. You know, you, yep. you, you try to be conservative with your burst. You, you try to really hold out. You say, oh, there'll, there'll be a better spot. There'll be a yeah. more guaranteed spot. There might not be. And it just got worse and worse until he was forced to use it. And it was an easy RC for Lossal. He was no. ready. Effectively put himself in a checkmate situation by waiting too long. It's one of those very small decisions. You have a very short window to make it. He did not. And that was the end. There was no chance Teresa was going to get breathing room again. And as a result, we get a classic Lost Soul promo, as we have seen so many times. If you're not a fan of promos, well, start beating Lost Soul because they're never going to stop. But what doesn't stop, Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle version 2.0 out now. Switch, PS4, and Steam. Check out those new characters from Arxis. And of course, Grand Blue, I mentioned it earlier at the beginning of the day. If you don't know about this game, you must be living under a rock. It's about to come out in a couple of weeks. It's here. The demo uh, is just popping this weekend. Everybody's playing it, so definitely check this out. Yeah, absolutely. Naptown Clutch coming up April 24th and 25th in Indianapolis, Indiana. Get yourself that early bird special. Only a $30 venue fee. Tons of gains on tap. Register at Smash GG Naptown Clutch 2020. And Super TSB, it's about that time of year again, March. Check them out uh, in New York. A great tournament series. Uh, Smash UG uh, slash Super Dash TSB. And of course, Second City Smash for all you Smashers out there. One of the Smash Ultimate Event Series events. May 9th, going to be a $1,000 pop bonus for each player. $300 to the top four ladder placements, and you can earn yourself placement to the Series 2 Invitational in December. Registration opening February 10th, 2020 at Ignite Gaming Lounge. 
and uh, check out the FGC meetups at Low Kick. It's right right here uh, at Ignite in Chicago. So check them out. The tournament on uh, two seven. All right. And Frosty, it is really cold here in the Midwest in Chicago. Get yourself a nice hoodie. Keep yourself warm over at Accelerate Gaming. Head over to www.axelmerch.com. And, of course, Game Changers Arcade Cabinets. There's one here this weekend. It is sick. Check them out. Um, check them out. <laughs> And Ready Games coming at you. Use the secret code FROSTY. Get yourself access to exclusive games with a prize pool of $300. You can win real cash prizes. Go over to ReadyDames.com. Check it out on the App Store and Google Play. Friends, we are down to the final three here at Frosty Faustings 12. Someone is walking out with a $1,000 pop bonus and the ability to say, I was the first Guilty Gear champion of a new decade. We got to pay some ad sponsors right now. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back. Welcome back, everybody. We are blazing through this top eight, way ahead of schedule, but that's just the nature of Guilty Gear. It's a very dynamic game, very fast-paced, and sometimes it's pretty one-sided. So yeah. once again, if you're just tuning in, I'm Ryan Hunter, joined here by Klaige, and we are down to our final three. So our next match is going to be uh, Losers Finals here, Lost Soul versus Foo. Let's see how they got there. Yeah. Yeah, quite a bit of a, a fast run here. Lost Soul and Peppery. Peppery came out ahead in a 2-0. Fu did the same to Teresa on the loser side. GC Yoshi and Damendo, of course, play each other all the time. GC Yoshi prevailing there. Ended up losing to Teresa on the bottom side. Kizzy took Marlin Pie out, eventually losing Lost Soul, ending his run as Frosty Fousting champion. And Lost Soul just put a hurt on Teresa in loser's semifinals to earn his place in this loser's finals match. He and Fu going to play first to three. We are three out of five the rest of the way. If you want to win that first major tournament of the new decade, you're going to have to earn it. We're going to kick it off right now with an Elfelt versus A-Gun. Loser's final match. Winner will earn the right to go on and take on the best Venom in North America in Peppery Splash. Yeah, we talked about some of the problems that Heyoon has in the Venom matchup, yeah. you know, working working her way through that mid-range. And uh, it's gonna be very, very similar here yes. against Elfelt. Yeah. Just really nightmarish buttons coming out of Elfelt. Yeah. Every one of them is good. 5-H, 6-H, far slash, 2 slash. Yep. Even things like Sweep have deceptively good range, so. Yep. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be rough, and then of course you got grenade just controlling a lot of space very passively. Yeah, sniper and rifle is a massive. I was just tool gonna say, if, if you ever try yeah. to if you ever try to slow the pace down and, and say, okay, I'm just not gonna go in, just gonna pull out the sniper rifle, and you're gonna have a bad time that way. So yeah, it's really had, really no good spot on the screen here. No, who has his work cut out for him? But he's been playing exceptionally well. Let's see what he has for Lost Soul on deck. But right now, already Lost Soul pushing the corner, but the nice jab there from Fu gets himself a little bit of breathing room, but gets caught by that crouching slash already. Ooh, Has nice. Taste the burn. All right. Gets himself a little room. Tries to Goomba on Lost Soul, but nothing doing. It gets caught by Garth. Nice conversion on the counter hit there from Lost Soul. Yeah, he confirmed the counter hit. Very nice. All right, good, good block. block. But the shotgun is out. It gets caught by the bridle. She easily closed out. Lost Soul draws first blood in our loser's final set. Yeah, caught him trying to move. Frame trapped him into the bridle RC for the conversion. Ooh, All right, counter hit gets the knockdown. All right, let's see where the mix is going to be. Catches him. Nice full convert there from Fu, and let's do it again. All right, catches him jumping. Wastes a little time in the OTG, trying to hold that corner. Nice jump out by Lost Soul. Yeah, almost out. caught the jump, but not quite. Yep. Throw Ooh. it to the ball. Ooh, we got combos. We do. Black beat don't matter. It still counts. Yeah, Lost Soul definitely regretting missing that tech. That yeah. was a lot of unnecessary damage. Yeah, but very smart there. Slides under the tuner ball. Oh, Ooh, going for a that? reset. Ooh, did I he he, safe jumps? he did no, not. No, he didn't, yeah. Fu claps up Lost Soul and evens up the first game at a round apiece. And Lost Soul, just like, maybe I should have safe jumped. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> and a repeat of the last round. Counter at Ayabusa. Here we go. I like it. Goes for the first safe combo. Nice. Lost Soul, great patience there, though. Yeah. Ooh, wow. the air blitz. And All he right. bakes the blitz back. So Lost Soul with zero resources right now. No meter, no burst. Yep. But he still has far slash. Yep. Counter hit far slash. Going to get the knockdown there. Oh, the max blitz. There's no meter for bit blitz back. And here we go. Shinkin. Shinkin. Oh, he oh, went for three, drop. which is so hard to do against light characters like Elfelt. That is a massive drop for Fu. Wow, the 2P. And then he catches the 6H. All right. Can he, he get might. that pickup? Yeah. Oh, oh, he missed the link on the stand. Jab, okay, but tech okay. buttons. Fu comes out 
swinging and says, I am not done. I want this run back against Peppery Splash. And he draws first blood. And I'm hoping you guys can hear through our mics the uh, the crowd getting behind Fu. Definitely starting to chant during that, that one combo off the uh, charge blitz. Yeah. Definitely yeah. a fan favorite here. Yeah, no, there's just not a lot of Heian players. People have not got to understand the joy that is Shinkin combo. <laughs> Enjoy it while it lasts, friends. But right now, Lost Soul says, I'm tired of smelling like feet. Please stop picking me and go to the corner where you belong. And already with a 70% life lead to start the round of game two. Yeah, and there's that nasty ID mix up. Lost Soul going low, getting massive damage. All right, good pace from Fu. All right, gets himself out with Grandpa Viper RC. Right now, down to his last legs. Gets counter hit. Probably not going to burn the burst here. Down so much life. Yeah, I would, I would be shocked to be burst here. Yeah, smart play there. No reason to try and bet at all down that much life. And Lossel doing what Lossel does, making the quick adjustment. Takes round one in the second game of Losers Finals. I, I like the space of Lossel. Far Slash is a nightmare button for Hagen to deal with. And right now, so far so good. Lossel, and there is the sniper rifle. So difficult for a big body to deal with like Hagen. Yeah, Fu, Fu tried to uh, get cute there and use 5D to negate the grenade. And yep. then uh, Lossel just pulled out the rifle and said, what are you doing over there? Yeah. Right now, Lasso looking real good. Fu might get his first back before the Salsa nice. Duck. Sniffs good. out the run up. All right, here we go. Yeah, oh. that was a great time hit 2P. Lasso went for the command grab. All right, gets the RC combo. Two Shinkins goes for three, but that's too high to get the full knockdown. Fu getting a little greedy. Might have been looking for the stun on that, but there's not enough to bring it home. And Lasso has the sniper rifle out, trying to close this out. Fu trying to avoid with the charge. And so this is so hard, hard yeah. All right, YRC gets in. Good nice ballless. FD. Oh, oh, try to hard bait the burst. Give him, give him Fu a chance. Oh, wow, Look, he gold go through. First. He had a guaranteed throw there, and he didn't take it. Yeah, no, Fu opting to try gold burst, get himself some resources. It does not work out. And Lost Soul evens up losers' finals at a game apiece. Yeah, now, now we're doing a two out of three. Yep. So here it is. Right down to it, next person to get that that all-important second win will put themselves on set match. And already, Fu has pushed the corner. All nice right. sweep out, all right. Gets himself out of the corner, not able to get much of a mix-up with that range, but escapes the corner, but the sniper rifle is back out and doing work. Uh, that's going to be a huge punish. Okay, burst. Yeah. Risky burst there from Fu, but it does get him out, but right again, lands right from the shotgun, and now the pistol. Fu is just looking for any kind of hit, Yeah. and he just cannot get anything right now. Yeah, this is Okay, classic. 6H. Yep, nice party crash. Gets him out. Okay. Oh, oh that otg unfortunate. Yeah, and somebody who claps up the Vital yeah. Express. And he's going for it. He wants to stun Elfelt. Bates oh, the burst. He's so ready. All right, Fu, show us that what you got. That is so big. Yeah, that was massive. All oh, right, combo off the grenade explosion. We're down to an even match here. Lasso with a lot of resources to work with on the meter. Oh, I think he tried to throw there. He got close to last with the OS. Oh, wow. Max range on it. The tuner ball's coming back. The overhead. Nice block from Lasso. Oh, he got him. And the high up Busa and Fu takes the first round in this all important third game. Yeah, the trade in Fu's favor there. What a run back there from Fu. Counter hit Hayabusa takes him to the corner. All right, nice poke back from Lost Soul. Yeah, a little bit of hesitation there from Fu on what to do with that knockdown. But gets chucked. Wow, nice poke out of the overhead from Lost Soul. Incredibly away. Whoa. He, he actually canceled the clash into FD. Yep. Oh, here we go. Shinkin. Shinkin. Nice. I like it. Fu finally not being greedy. Takes his knockdown. Lost Soul forced the dead angle. Does turn the corner back. Here we go. Fu trying to be patient. Instant blocking. The shotgun is out. That guard gauge is cranked. And you see, I was just going to say, he keeps, he had been 6-H'ing in that situation with yep. the shotgun in the corner. Oh, and he calls out the tuner ball. And Fu. Fu's making it happen. And, you know, we got to come in. Pep in the background that right now, you know he's got to be rooting for Fu because he was so dominant Absolutely. over Fu in winner's finals. So you know Pep is back there cheering with all of his bite in his head. Please, Fu, come on, one yep. more game. Yep. There is the caveat, though. Fu, if he runs this all the way through, he's warmed up. He's been on the set. He's ready to go. Peppery has not played for a good while. We're blazing through this top eight, but that's still a long time to rest. I mean, that's true. And it also goes without saying that Pep is the one who put both these players in the losers. So. Yep. But none of that will matter if Fu cannot close this out and get that third win. Lost Soul 
Gonna see if he can run it back. And right now, earns the corner. All important. Fu off the burst. I like that burst. Wow, she Again, gets the bullet. Can canceling with the with the with the FD. The Ooh, catches him on the dust. Lost Soul has to use his burst. Kaylin has very damaging side dust combos. Tyson Grandpa Viper through the shot. Fu feeling away right now. Tries to catch a dash in, but nothing doing. And now Lost Soul. Yep, gonna get the knockdown. Here we go. Nice the air dash. Fu on his game right now. Party Ooh, crash caught the wire. jump. See? Not far enough to get the knockdown, though. Does poke the, the Pine Berry. Nice him into the throw. ball. Went for a second air throw there. All right. Fu blitzes oh. this time. He gets caught. Lost He's about to get his burst back, though. Yep. Nice side switch. The oh. overhead. Tries oh, to back block. dash. IB. Gonna get chipped out. Yeah. Yep. Yep. He had a lot of meter to fall us, though. Yeah, no, interesting choice there from Fu. And Lost Soul, not done yet, takes the early 1-0 lead in the sports game, trying to stay alive. Ooh, gets nice. through the sniper rifle. Here comes the mix-up. All right, forward kick. Nice defense there from Lost Soul, but gets wow. party crashed once again. Actually hit meaty. Yep, all right, here we go. Lost Soul gets hit. Oh, he was baiting a yeah, burst there. Why is he, why is he, Fu? Playing out of his mind right now. Counters the counter hit. Counter hit again. Oh, he doesn't finish the job. He could have ended it right there. And the sweep and boom. Set point. Trying to punch his ticket to grand finals in a run back versus Peppery Splash. Wow. wow. That's how you're feeling, food. Just round run. start, dash up, DP. I respect it. I'm a degenerate Hey Hunt player. Show me some more. Can you finish the job? But right now, Lasso already with 50% sends Fu back to the corner, trying to push this to a final game. Nice defense by Fu, but the shotgun is out. Very nice. I beat the shotgun S and then challenge with 2P. Fu is taking the risk. He wants to hit it. All right. Heavy pressure wire C or hits. corner to corner. corner. Yep. Where's the mix up? Goes up nice. and gets him with heavy. And here we go. Nice pace what player a for Fu. Yeah. Did not get hit by the slide under Party Crasher, RZ. Oh, shit, kid! All okay. right, this time did not bait the burst. Really smart burst from Lost Soul. He was going to be in deep trouble with that counter hit. Yeah, in other situations, that burst wouldn't be worth it because you're you're depriving yourself of the burst meter. Yep. Oh, but catches him again. Hold up the champagne bottle. Can't burst here. The OTG, not quite enough. Okay, FDs. And oh, the, he ran out of meter. meter. He yep. ran out of meter. Could not FD it. And Lost Soul pushes us to a final game and losers finals. The back and forth. Fu is betting it all on big chances right now and was so close, but now taking a moment. Lost Soul says, no, 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 no. I'm tired of these big risks. I'm going to punish you for it. And here we go. Final game here at Frosty Faustings 12. Winner goes to Grand Finals. Loser goes home. And back and forth we go. Counter hit. Hayabusa into a full confirm. Face the first again. Who says, I'm not going to let you take that free get out of jail. Going to RC this. Nice defense by Lost Soul, but that guard gauge, nice back dash. That was ballsy, and he oh, gets out. Oh, but with another hit in the corner here. All right, Blitz, Blitz. gets himself out, but max range sweep again. Slides yeah. under this time, needed to RC that tuner ball. Lost Soul saw that that was not going to be meaty. Oh, the Blitz back. Oh, the wow. Blitz trades for Lost Soul, and now he gets a full. Oh, it drops. Wow, and then he's ready with the grenade to pick up the tech. Yeah, the scramble this, goes this is gonna to be a kill. Soul, he's he's going to finish gonna, the job. Yeah, yes, he has it. the meter. And that's going to be enough. Wow. Yeah. A massive scramble goes in Lost Soul's favor, and he is on set point, looking to get that grand finals option against Peppery Splat. Wow, Hayabusa, Hayabusa. Yep. All right, Fu, trying to run it back, wants to stay alive. Nice IB, but nothing after. Yeah, a little bit of patience here after those big, scrambling, chaotic, chaotic starts of this final game. And I'm a little worried right now because Fu looks like he's trying to slow down the pace of the match, and I don't think that's no, how you're going to win this. No, I agree with you. Fu was, get, Fu was winning by, by playing out of his mind, betting on big risks. He needs to get back in that style, but right now, Lost Soul feeling a little too comfortable. And Fu going to get pushed to the corner. Can he make his way out? All right, okay, burst, the burst. Yeah, burst the pressure. All right, he's in. Here Small we go. damage, but the knockdown is what's important here. Yep. All right. Doesn't get the full charge on the Hayabusa, so nothing doing. YRC back into a tuner ball. Ooh, what a pickup. What a pickup. Absolutely amazing conversion for Boot. Hits with the overhead. Oh, oh a drops little too it. long. It's so hard on Elfelt. She's such a tiny character. And the poke back. YRC pokes back the Pineberry. Trying to chase him down with the Hayabusa's, but Lost Soul one step ahead, backdashing out. What? I beat the air throw. 
Lussell with the burst. All right, can he try to win right now? Man, if, if Lussell doesn't win this round, there's the punish. Can he finish it? Oh, he could have gone into Shinken and finished the job, but he gets, gets the, the hit. tutor confirmed. And now Lussell might be regretting that burst. He was trying to close it out. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Final game, final round. Losers, finals, Frosty Dostings. Counter hit, knockdown. Wish he had that burst right now. Here we go. Who's going to take this? Fu, another counter hit. Help him. Oh, has to be he careful. Gets jump in. She's going to get stunned if she gets opened up again. Oh, the counter hit! Have to be careful, Lasso! Oh, he does poke his way out. And Fu trying to close it out. Gets gripped, and Lasso with a little bit of control finally. Another knockdown. Got the grenade out. Yep. Oh, nice wow. jab of the Hayabusa. anti air. And Fu has no meter. Gets opened up. Takes oh. the burst! And here we go! Lasso not enough, but Fu is out of meter, and that's going to be it! And Lossel takes it over Fu in a nail biter up to the last round. Wow, the back and forth. Fu with the burst, the absolute panic, knowing he was in the corner against Shotgun, and we've talked about it all top eight. You can't burst against Shotgun. It will get you killed every single time. But shout outs to Fu for one of the most hellacious runs we've seen out of a North American Hey Hun player, channeling Cha 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 from Art Revo and giving us one hell of a show. But one hell of a show does not punch a ticket to grand finals, and Lost Soul and Peppery Splash are gonna go fight for that first title here of the new decade at Frosty Faustings 12. Yeah, so we knew it was gonna be a run back, we just didn't know which one, but it is gonna be Lost Soul. So we saw this uh, earlier on in the bracket, and uh, Pep looked very comfortable. It was actually one of the first matches we saw. Talked yeah. about how Pep really isn't that happy with the with the uh, Elvel the uh, Elvel matchup. Yeah. But he looked very comfortable against Lossel. So yeah, no, it was frankly a washing. Like mm -hmm. he he took Lossel to the cleaners in that first set. But just like we talked about when Fu was on the verge of getting back to this run back, Lossel's warmed up. He has played quite a few matches down in losers bracket, including a back to back here, and now. You have one of the most adaptive players we've ever seen out of North America in Guilty Gear. Going to be taking on the best Venom in North America. And of course, Peppery, two times now, runner-up at Frosty Faustings. Yeah, he's he, tired does, he of that. does not want it to go down like this. No. I mean, he, he's he's got the advantage right now. He's on winner's side, so Lossel's going to have to do a lot of work here to get caught up. Yeah. But, uh, you know, we've seen Lossel do this from losers countless times. Yeah, no. You definitely cannot count him out by any means. Yeah, no. And, and, and I would guess Peppery going to want to do exactly what he did. Calculated play, kind of keep the pace of play a little bit slower, a little bit less chaotic, take his advantage when it's given to him, and just not let Lost Soul breathe. That is going to be the order of the day and how Peppery Splash is going to try and close out Frosty Faustings 12 here in Chicago, Illinois. Yeah, so the key aspects, again, that we're going to be looking for here is where Peppery tries to keep the, the zone of the match. He does not want to be full screen, and he also doesn't want to be too close. He wants to be in the range where, basically just the tip of far slash, where, where uh, Elfelt really doesn't have much of a threat. So, yeah. but, but the, the problem at that range is that while the threat is relatively low from her pokes, things like IAD yes. can, be, can be very high reward. And, and for Venom at those ranges, what is he really getting? He can hit you with a 100 far slashes. He's yep. not really doing that much. So, you know, we're going to have to see uh, when, when uh, Lossel finally does try to go in, how does uh, Peppery take advantage of that to actually get some substantial damage? Yeah, can you call out some of those big risks that, that Lasso might take? Get a forward punch, get your big conversion. Yeah, get some air throws. Yeah, because far slide, you know, like you said, it's such an amazing ground poke. It's almost like a baby beak driver in its mm -hmm. own right. But the big difference is when you counter hit someone, your reward, not that great. You're not going to do sin damage for it. And yeah, if you you're not going to take half their life. No, yeah. and if you get called out and it gets air dash over, you're going to be in a bad spot. Because as we said earlier, Venom's defensive options are minimal. He basically relies on the universal defensive option, FD, uh, Dead Angle, and Blitz. 
And if he has burst, he does have the option of doing burst dark angel, but that is a lot of resources to commit to getting yeah. out of the defensive situation right off the bat. Lost Soul earns the corner, oh. earns a burst, and right, right away, Lost Soul is warmed up and ready to go and says, you need a reset? I got one ready to go for you, sir. Nice air throw. Yep, very nice Peppery Splash. Lost Soul opts to burst immediately. Yeah. Showing a lot of respect to Peppery Splash right there and says, no, I don't want you to have any momentum. I will happily spin my burst to avoid dealing with those Venom mix-ups. And already, a nice grab there to throw that Pineberry. All right, I like the dead angle from Peppery there. All right, gets the air dash, so should be a nice knockdown here for Peppery Splash. All right, close the mix in the cup. Oh, wow. didn't keep him blocked, son. Yep. Lossel was 100% ready for that throw. Yeah, no, really nice throw from Lossel. The anti-air 5H. Yep, very nice work there. And Lossel draws first blood in our grand finals, goes up 1-0. In the first game. Our uh, round start 6P finds nothing but a knockdown for Law Soul. Right, Peppery jumps over the Pineberry, gets a sniper rifle for his trouble, but a wow. nice. Wow, that, that was didn't combo. Yeah. No, but it still counts. And now, Peppery, the nice conversion here, gonna take it coast to coast. Yes, he will. In comes that Venom pressure. Nice dead Immediate angle. Dead by angle. Yep. That, that's one of the really annoying things for Venom in this matchup. You know, some other characters, he can low profile their dead angles, but not Elfel. Her, her dead angle is so strong. Yes, absolutely. I mean, she has everything else in the game. Why wouldn't she have a great dead angle to go with it? So, nice. Ooh, with the command yep. grab. Uh, it's going to be tough to burst. Okay, he finds it on the first shotgun shot. Oh, but that should be it. Yeah, that's going to wrap this up. Lost no. Oh, a drop. Wow, but it stood up into matter. it. All right. Lost Soul with a little bit of, of a slop there at the end, but it doesn't matter. He earns the first game here in Grand Finals. Only five more to go if he wants to run this all the way back. Right, let's see what Peppery has for Oh, nice. First. IP, optimal punish there with the close slash. Very nice for Pep. Yep. And once again, ooh, doesn't get the pine very far enough oh, away. All right, 6P is going to actually knock down thanks to the grenade explosion. Yeah, no, that's a trade Peppery will take all day. Wow, the blitz, the re-blitz gets baited, and Peppery forced to burst here. Both players opting to burst very early on in this first round. Oh, probably was looking for a forward punch there, didn't get it. Now, Lost Soul. Wow! Sweep no good there. Yeah, no, caught him on the overhead. All right, nice blitz there from Peppery Splash. Going in. Instantly re air dashes in, grips him. This should be solid damage into a good setup. All right, here we go. Gonna force him to use that meter, negate that chip damage. Empty jump low. Pepper Splash That's not gonna be enough. Yeah, no red hail scales quite a bit. Yeah. Lost Soul with a little bit of breathing room. Stinger nice. wire. See, I like that. Yeah, good awareness there, knowing yep. that the far slash is going to hit. Yeah, nothing feels worse in Guilty Gear than spending resources when you are on the verge of an execute and finding that you're just short. But Peppery does not falter and gets that round here in the second game. But once again, immediately in the corner with that shotgun right in his face. Nice. Ooh. Micro dash forward, just a little bit of a dash block there. And he catches the back dash, but actually punishing it with a throw. Yeah, the wire seed does not punish the dash in from Peppery Splash. Oh, this is going to be a good setup. Yeah, no, he's got a lot of power to work with. Nice block. Yeah, really good defense from Lasso, but he gets caught by Crouching Heavy. That's going to be a big chunk of damage he's, right now. Oh, he could have killed him, I think, with Dark Angel, but yeah. that's okay. He's going to do a ton of chip. Yeah, he's just going to try and check him yeah. out the chip. Yep. Lasso wanted to try to conserve his meter, so he just died instead. Yeah, no, can't do that against Venom. And Peppery turns it around. We have a 1-1 one, one set here in Grand Finals. Peppery Splash, two games away from finally ending that run of the Bridesmaid era here at Frosty Falcons. But at, at every round, it feels like Peppery just goes immediately to the corner. Yeah, I mean, that, that's the nature of the matchup, right? Yep. Elfeld is just so good at getting that uh, corner carry. That was a spicy teleport to get out. Really good by Peppery Splash, but he doesn't get bait to slide out. I thought he might burst there to hold the corner, but yeah. Pep winds up getting the blitz instead and right back to this left corner. Yep. QB can do a lot of chip. Nice dashing mad struggle for the momentum. Yep. First save combos. I like it. Wow. Oh. He went for the whole thing, but yeah. a little too far there. Of course, Elfeld again has a very small air hitbox, and now Lost Soul gets a little breathing room off that drop. He's going for max damage all the way to the corner. There go. Where would the mix up be? Trying to bait looking a dead for, angle. Yeah, looking yep. for the dead angle for sure. Nice. Oh. Gets the blitz back. Yeah. That's a burst save throw combo. 100% burst save. Yeah, really nice awareness there from Peppery Splash. Jumps back to bait the wire seat, but gets gripped in the air. Again, where would the mix up be? Peppery has enough for a dead angle. Oh, Ooh. he did. Oh, oh no. The panic burst. Oh, 
back-to-back -back execution errors there. Peppery probably looking to dead angle, accidentally gets a stinger aim. Yeah, I'm not even sure how he did that, though, because yeah. he was holding the stinger aim. Yeah, no, that was really strange. And then the panic burst. And now Lossel has a massive advantage going into the second game. But so Lossel just blocked a mix-up that he got hit with in their first set right away at the beginning. And that's a pretty scary sign if you're Peppery Splash right now. Yeah, absolutely. But not wavering and has a massive likely the Blitz. And here we go. Got uh, a combo into Dark Angel. She's going to do a lot of chip here. Yeah. Lasso trying to flicker Faultless Defense and conserve his meter, and all he gets for it is a chip out. And now, Peppery Splash looking to go up 2 1. This is such an important game in this grand final set. Yeah, this is very important. All right, Lasso, max range, standing kick. Really nice confirm there. He has Peppery in the corner every oh. single round. I think he tried to jump out of that because there was a, a little flash of a yep. Faultless right before he got grabbed. He might not have got the jump input. Yeah. Oh, doesn't finish the combo. Uncharacteristic drop from Lasso, and it costs him dearly at the moment. And the mix-up gets hit Ooh. by the meaty crossover. Pretty sure Lasso tried to blitz there and yeah. didn't get it, so he just got hit meaty. Yep, I think you're right. And now he goes to the corner, mm. does dead angle out, gets himself some breathing room. Both players with a lot of meter, but Lasso spins it trying to get in. Nice. Wow. Calls ready. out the slide, calls oh. out the burst, but doesn't so, punish it. The burst was OTG, so Pep knew he wasn't going to get a good, a good punish on the burst. So he dashed up trying to throw, but Lasso was one step ahead yep. and got his throw instead and rode that momentum to win that crucial game three. Yeah. And now Lasso is up two to one in this first set of grand finals. Yeah, great catch there, Ryan. Right? You're seeing that's an OTG burst. OTG bursts are such a nightmare to deal with because just because you burst, even if you bait it, your opponent is still an OTG status. You cannot juggle them and they can tech out of anything because their hit stun is basically down to nil. So that was a big, big moment there. And like you said, Peppery read it correctly, but it's so hard to get what you want in that situation. Really smart from Lost Soul to wait and do an OTG burst, gets himself some room. And now, Lost Soul is one game away from a reset trying to keep us going here at Frosty Falcons 12. Peppery Splash looking to push this to a final game in the grand final set. Trading uh, hits here from full screen. All right, back and forth. Lost Soul does score that far standing heavy knockdown, but a nice teleport and a big confirm. Ooh, that was a dangerous yeah, burst. Yeah, that was but a very dangerous burst. If he had gone for a Q5 route instead of the jumping route like that, yeah. that burst would just completely win. Yeah, absolutely. So, who went for the match circle. Nice jump out by Lost Soul. Catches ooh. him. I think uh, Peppery thought he had frame advantage there. Tried to hit a button, got, got hit. Oh, the burst wow, gets baited, but missed. no punish. Nice air throw. Oh, another drop. You see oh. those? Wow, the grand final nerves are definitely uh, too ticking. Far. I don't think this is meaty. He can jump out. Okay. Yeah, yep. he covers it with a with a stinger. Good nice. block. Yeah, nice defense by Lasso, but he is getting chipped out. The throw. Oh, oh, he drops it. He dropped the five H. Chip is chip is huge here. Yeah. No, the sniper on the yeah. lead. That struggles into it. Wow. There, there was nothing he could do. Once yeah. he double jumped there, he was actually just dead. Yeah, out of options, nowhere to go. And very uncharacteristic drops by both these players puts Lasso on set point looking for a reset. Just massive, massive drops. Those grand final nerves are clearly kicking in here. Both players knowing they are on a verge of cashing in. Nice. A massive pop bonus. So, Peppery getting hit there OTG and purposely not teching. Lost Soul was assuming he was going to tech, went for an air throw mm -hmm. that didn't come and got himself air thrown for his trouble. Yeah. Ooh, catches the Pineberry, but a bit of an odd angle. Oh, wow, Stan Heavy actually gets through there. Nice the poke out, though, of the, sl the slide. Peppery trying to turn this back around. Does not want to get this reset. That is the absolute last thing he wants to deal with. All right, Dark Angel just to push him all the way back to the corner. Yep. All right, that's going to be a lot of damage. Gets caught by the pistol well, again. Doesn't take the throw punish. Yeah, no, right now, Lasso getting away with oh. some less than well-spaced Bridal Expresses. And now Lasso almost out of meter. He's not going to be able to make it. The misses air the throw, throw misses. Oh, the close slash misses. Oh, the the behind explosion. Barry. And yeah, the first, the first is not baited. The sniper yes, is not and baited. He gets up with the ball. He faultless the rifle to not die to the wow. chip. And Peppery stays alive here. Had to use his burst, so it's a little bit disadvantaged now, but better than being dead. Yeah, no, absolute pristine decision making and max range from both characters. And now Peppery Pep, Splash. Pep struggling a little bit to hit that ball, but he finally gets it. Yeah. That, that happens to uh, every Venom Absolutely. at some point. All right.
Also off the first, wants to keep this momentum. He is still on Ooh. set point and on the verge of resetting this grand finals. Yeah, looking really good right now. Great positioning. All right, never mind. Swap the side swap. Yeah, no, right now. Terry Splashing 90% life deficit down to pixels. Tries to back it. Ooh, just nice get jump. out and he's in. How far can he run this back? All right, a trade, uh, but he yeah. gets poked, and that is a reset in Grand Finals. Frosty Faustings 12, and you can see it on Peppery Splash's face. He is not happy right now. He yeah, knows I mean, that's a massive setback. Yeah, this is a uh, little concerning if you're Peppery Splash. You know, you beat the guy in winter in uh, on the winner side of the bracket early on, pretty convincingly. And then to lose a set like this very, very uh, close can be very demoralizing, actually. Yeah. Yeah, no, and I like what Pep is doing. He says, nope, we're going back to character select. I need a drink. I'm going to bring out my hands a little bit. Yeah, I need to calm my nerves, take a yeah. deep breath, relax yeah. for a second. Yeah, we have seen very uncharacteristic drops from both these players. These are two of the most solid players in all of Guilty Gear. You don't see those kind of drops often. But when you are playing for a major tournament title for a pop bonus, all those nerves can wreck things at the worst possible time. So. Can Peppery Splash fix this reset? Can he end his run of being the runner-up? Nice, Frosty hard base the burst for going the uh, Oki to yep. teleport away in case he bursts, and sure enough, Lussell did. Yep, but got thrown in the corner, and right now, Peppery Splash has a lot of meter. Wow, nice challenge there, and he pokes his way out. Oh, that's oh, too far hard. for that setup. That's fine, run back in, get yourself a throw. Right now, Peppery looking real good at the start of this reset. This is exactly what he needs. You do not want to give Lossel an early game in a reset. Let him get that giant momentum going. I like this Bishop run out. Wants to control speed, screen space, try and chip out Lossel. And, and there he does. It is. Really smart play from Peppery Splash there. I like that a lot. That's a solid adjustment and a good start to a reset. We're looking for the jump at the round start, but it doesn't work out. Lost Soul with the early knockdown. Yep. And we're going to probably go in the corner. Yep. Off the burst at the top of the screen, but immediately Lost Soul's back in. But Bridal's under in a nice air throw for Peppery. Here we go. Going to set those balls out. Get a big chip damage there. Right. Catches nice. Lost Soul jumping. Oh, oh, he, he went for the it. air dash. Didn't he yeah, hit it. Missed the ID for sure. Yeah, that's unfortunate. It gets caught by the shotgun. Wow, nice, nice five P. Yeah, really There's nice. a ball behind him. He's got to be careful. Okay. All right. Catches on the forward heavy. Nice air dash in. This is going to be solid damage into a setup. Lost Soul does have his burst back. The chip damage, though. Lost Soul is lacking oh, meter. Dark Angel this is, is not, coming this out. Not airtight. Oh, he tries to jump. Yeah, wow. Able to get that going. Lost Soul has no meter to work with here. Gets caught. The primary detonate. Oh, the, the gold, gold burst, burst though. This is scary now. Now has all the meter. Doesn't do Nice it. block. Yep. Oh, the dead angle from Peppery Splash. And Catches he got the, the back dash. dash. Very nice from Pep. And you can hear the crowd. They are excited. They want to see the back and forth. And Peppery Splash answers back to the reset and says, No, no, sir. I am tired of your momentum. Let me get another drink. The back and forth here. The adjustments by both players. Absolutely amazing to watch. Yeah, Pep looking pretty clean right now overall. Yeah, and we'll see. Lost Soul so many times. How many times have you seen Lost Soul in the middle of a set? Look oh. like he is done, and then adjustment comes out, but we're gonna have a danger time. And Peppery opts to burst. I like that burst. That is a real dangerous place to be. Here's a confirm. All right. Ooh, catches with the pistol. Nice call out there to Lost Soul and the sniper, but a trade on the pool ball. Right now, we're just kind of firing at max range back and forth. Yeah, it's very back and forth. Oh, the blitz misses. Yeah. Tough break there for Pep. Oh, but... Wow, goes up and rips him. RC's, he wants to try and finish this? Is he going to have enough? Air throw scale up, but the combo drops, but... All right, the blitz doesn't get him out. Trying to chip him out with the shotgun. There yeah, it is. the yeah. immediate shotgun shot. Yeah. Almost nothing Peppery was going to be able to do there because of the chip damage on shotgun. So, Lost Soul takes the first round in game two of the grand finals reset. The trading far slashes. Yeah, no, the poke. Wow, ducks under because the shots didn't connect. Sniper rifle and ball trade. Back and forth we go. And, and there's on. the burst. Pep Five. ready this time. Blocks yeah. it. Oh, a wow, stun. he actually gets a stun. That is so rare for Venom. Yeah, no, all those counter hits on the long range pool balls give Peppery a stun, and he is on the verge of taking the second round. Woo. The throw tech? Bishop's run out is out. It's up there. Lossel has to be careful. All right, it's gone now. Yep. All right. Pep awesome. running in, just looking for a far slash to close this out. Yeah, anything will do this for Peppery Splash. Dancing back and forth, looking for that last hit. Lossel gets in, though. 
Peppery. Oh, oh god, this is scary. Yeah, he yeah. burst. Yeah. Again, you don't really want to burst there, yeah. but you also don't want to let him run it all the way back, so you got to take what you can get. Yeah, absolutely. So, Blossom with a bit of a minor victory there did earn Peppery Splash's burst, so he's going to have that charging back for a good amount of this final round in game two. Nice. Right. Ivy's the shotgun S, and then yeah. challenges with the 2K. Ooh, the jump in works. All right. Peppery not able to get the full confirmed up. Ooh, crouching heavy detonates the nice. high berry. This is big damage. Yeah, looking good. Oh. Wow, calls out a tech with a blitz, but it doesn't quite work out. That trade, though, keeps Lossal in the corner. And once again, Bishop run out. Peppery wants to just try and chip out. Lossal was so little meter. Gets caught. Going to get the confirmed. Oh. No. Oh, he's trying, to hard, he's trying to hard bait the burst by stopping the string there. Yeah, no, that's an unfortunate drop there. And now Lossal has the corner. Peppery has a lot of meter. Will the dead angle, angle come? Lossal runs Gets up grabbed. and grips him. This does a lot of damage. He's about to get his burst back, though. Oh, wow, oh he messed up. detonates. Sweep under the far slash. Lasso with a massive mistake to let that Pineberry detonate on itself. And Air he gets throw, burst save, burst save. Wow, not enough though. The oh, gold, the gold burst. burst! Oh no! Well, he dashes, dashes the sniper. Gets caught. The counter hit the doesn't burst. make the burst. Six P. He's no, in. too soon. And it's gonna be enough, Lasso. Six P. A little bit too soon. And oh the angle was just right my. for Lasso to come down and beat the six P. Are you kidding me with that back and forth? I thought Lo I thought uh, Pep was going to go for an air throw instead of the 6P in that situation. He had so much time, and the momentum was kind of fixed already because of what Lussell had already committed to. That sequence in the end, good lord, get a highlight reel for that. That dash is a sniper, gets over a sniper. Lossel keeps his composure, finds a way. And what a clutch win there for Lossel. That was the difference between 2-0 and 1-1. Yeah, especially after that ridiculous mistake, accidentally detonated a pine berry on himself, manages to keep his composure, and now Lossel with that momentum once again, a nice block from Peppery Splash, but he does get opened up on the low. And we're going right in. Lost Soul with a nice life lead here in the third game. This game is so important. You do not want to be put on set point for two games trying to run this back. And right now, the sniper rifle just doing so much work. Nice, nice back dash. dash. Wow. All right. Oh, he tried to stutter step for the throw. Lost Soul sniffs it out, goes for the over it. Let's reset into the command grab. Yeah, it's, it's, it's actually really hard to throw in that situation because he falls in the air. When you follow something in the air, when you land, you get added block stun from yep. having fallus in the air. So you have to wait a really long time to get a throw in that situation. Wow. Nice forward punch there from Peppery, though, in the neutral. But he's cornered. Yep, I like that burst. You can't go to the corner, but he doesn't escape. And now has to hold the shotgun pressure. Wow, what a confirm from Lossel. Are you kidding? Yeah, nice pickup. And the fuzzy mix up. Peppery trying to get out wide. Oh, That's a no. counter hit. It is going to scale, and the drop happens, so Peppery with a little bit of light, but he gets command grab. Yeah, Lost Soul is just firing all cylinders right now. Is he going to build enough meter for the burst super? Yeah. Yes, he is, and this is going to be a wrap. Right before Peppery Splash got his burst back. So, yeah, that's now 2-1 Lost Soul, and it's just getting worse and worse. I don't know, Pep's going to have to pull it together. Yeah, you can see he is, he's feeling it. He's like, not again. How many times do I have to come this far? Go through 250 Guilty Gear players. I just want that major title. And once again, he's going to have to run it back down two games to one. There are no more second chances for Peppery Splash. The next loss is Frosty Fastings 12. He can definitely do it, though. Yeah, no, the back and forth has been amazing in this grand final with both these players putting on a show for us. Nice blitz. Wow, forces Lossal the burst. actually burst. That yeah. was going to be, like, very little damage. Yeah, that was interesting. I wonder if he saw his guard bar crank a little bit, maybe a bit of a panic. And now, Petri reversing the tables. He earns the corner early in this round. Oh, but a drop again. Lossal. Gets the side switch and a grab. Ooh, narrowly avoided getting thrown into the grenade. That could have been yeah. much worse. But gets caught. This is going to be solid damage into a knockdown. Peppery does have a burst, but has to be so careful with how he uses it. Wow, well, burst he, Dark he Angel. Jumped lower. Yeah. Oh, he jumped back. All right. Peppery does escape by using his burst super and oh, catches gets Lossel. A, hit. a lot right. of risk gauge, too. That little combo did a lot yep. of damage. All right. Lossel running out of meter, trying to flicker faultless defense again. It cost him a lot of chip damage. He jumps nice. out with a wire seat throw. Very nice. Lossel has been trying to flicker FD that damage, and it's costing him so much life over and over again. 
But now, Peppery oh, the gets sweep with punishing the 2S. Are two you S. kidding? This confirm? But it does drop. But my god, Lossal putting on a clinic with these confirms. Speaking of confirms, that was a great little combo there by Pep. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh, catches with the shotgun. That's going to be a great starter for Lost Soul. And Pep with no burst right now. Oh, here we go. Pep wow. running out of options. Lost Soul trying to push this to set point. Tournament point, no less. Nice blitz up. Beverly catches him on the empty jump. All right, going to take him to the corner with the Dark Angel. Ooh, Lost Soul pushed buttons. Gets caught by the throw. Baiting the burst. Oh, oh wow, the heart. And he gets caught for it. I think that was an execution error. Yeah. Because you, you don't have to do that. That 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 combo's already burst safe. Yeah. That was that was an execution error. Again, Peppery with a massive drop. Lost Soul now on tournament point at Frosty Falcons 12. Both players have their burst. Peppery goes for a cross-up, it doesn't work, and now he is in the corner. Uh, it's not gonna knock down. Yeah, oh he texts into the overhead. Nice jump away though. Yeah, he jumps out of his man grab, but gets caught. All okay, right, there's, there's the burst. burst. Trying to stay alive. Oh Peppery. no. Peppery the is grenade. on his last leg. He's gonna get enough for a dead angle, but if it's baited, that's going to be the Oh, jumps out! Oh, he gets the shotgun in. S! Lost He's trying to get away. Okay, big knockdown. Yep, Lasso on the verge, has a burst and a lot of meter to play with. The crowd chanting for Peppery now. They want to see a final game in this grand finals. The dead angle, Peppery trying to take us to game five. Four oh, push. The okay, burst. there's the burst. He needs one more hit here. Oh, that should be it. The burst. He okay, doesn't beat it. Are you kidding me? But oh. the end and Lossel is your Frosty Fastings 12 grand champion for the third year in a row. Peppery Splash takes up the runner-up place. So close yet again, but Lost Soul doing as he has done so many times in the Guilty Gear Xard era is gonna walk away with the first place championship trophy and you know we're getting a promo now. Yeah, congratulations to Lost Soul. Really, really tough break from Peppery there, but uh, you know, second place, nothing, not, you know, not too bad, not too bad. Obviously, we talked about it. No stranger to second place here at Frosty yeah. Faustings. Obviously, he won it the first, but you know, you got to look at how good he did. He did amazing, beat a lot of strong players to make it this far, yeah. and uh, had a really good showing. So, yeah. congratulations to both of them. Gra congratulations to our entire top eight. Yeah, no, absolutely great showing. And honestly, props to Lost Soul. He got obliterated at the start of this top eight. That's Pepper, right. He made that look free, and Lost Soul said, "You want me to do it the hard way?" I'll do it the hard way. Let me go all the way through the loser's bracket, come back, reset a grand finals, and take it all the way to the house. Congrats to Lost Soul, and again, congrats to all our top eight. But we're not done here at Frosty Faustings 12. We may be done with the X-Art action, but 2020 is gonna be a big year for Guilty Gear. We have a lot going on. Of course, XR clearly not dead. 250 people came out to play Guilty Gear here at the premier Midwest Guilty Gear tournament. We kick off every year with a love for anime games, a love for Arxis games. So many amazing games run here at Frosty Fausting 12. Take your time, give a lot of love to all of the staff, all of the volunteers that run these brackets, and most of all, to the hardworking people behind these streams. They are out here every day for hours and hours on end, bringing you this amazing footage, these amazing highlights that you get right, to watch. Over, and speaking of highlights, day. we're gonna kick it over to our tournament director because we have an important day, little thing to share with you all. All right, and how was the event this year? You guys have a good time? All right, thank you very much. All right, we got two announcements for you right now. Announcement number one. Hey guys, so I wanna show you a one second slide about next year, okay? I know you're eager to repeat everything we've done, but I gotta make a change. I want a bigger venue. I want more seats. I want more lights. I want more games. Show them the slide. It's bigger. It's got everything we want. They're awesome to work with. It's gonna be cool. I promise you, it's a Westin. They have like 50% more rooms than this place. They have way more ballrooms, tons more space for vendors and artists. I'm not gonna be turning anybody down. It's gonna be awesome. So, I just...
So the one thing I gotta say, one of the things that has been incredibly challenging about growing this in the specific way that we wanna grow it, the way that you guys enjoy seeing it grown, keeping it feeling the way we want it to feel is just insanely hard at this scale. I wanna introduce my wife, Victoria Hyonis. <laughs> Some of you don't know that she's a full-time owner at Frosty Faustings. The three of us own and operate this show with the amazing help of about 100 staff, 200 volunteers, and the insane, I can't even, I don't even know where we got this weekend of all of you fans. So give it up to you guys. Give it up to the staff. Give it up to the volunteers. And, and, just this one time, give it up to the person that has spent three months negotiating contracts for 2021, Victoria Hionis. You wanna say anything? Okay, all right, I know what you wanna see. Give it to him. Give, give it to him. <laughs> all right guys, we got one more. All right, real quick. I just want to thank Arc System Works for giving me the opportunity to premiere the video for a character I've been maining for literally 18 years. All right. Here we go. Nani ga deru kana? Let's roll it. Well, that was pretty dope, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, he still has Ford Heavy and Jump H? I'm in there, yo. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for the show. We hope you had a great weekend. The 24-hour ballroom is still rocking. Go play some more video games. Thank you all very much for coming. All right, well, you heard it here first. Faust premiering at Frosty Faustings 2020. You know, sometimes the stars just align and uh, everything is, you know, perfect. And that trailer was pretty perfect. That, that was pretty sick. That was ridiculous. I, I was wondering, was the tease just going to be, oh, look how scary Faust is. Oh, wait, he's still a goop. No. No. That is creepy, and I love it. This is a big year for Guilty Gear, friends. Guilty Gear Strive is going to be out late this year. Guilty Gear is not going anywhere. Keep playing Exert. Get hyped for all these new anime games. And if you are not here joining us at one of the best tournaments you will ever find for anime players, get out here. Get out here next year to the new venue. You will have a blast at Frosty Faustings. We keep it real here. We have a great time in the Midwest. And we cannot thank you all enough for joining us tonight for some amazing action. I got to thank my co-commentator, Mr. Ryan Hunter. Always a pleasure, good sir. Absolutely. All of you, take care, stay warm. It is absolutely miserable out <laughs> here. So we're going to stay inside, play some video games. We hope you do the same. And we will catch you all on the next Frosty Faustings adventure. Take care. Have a good night. <laughs>